Good afternoon. Welcome back to another episode of Starfield. We are going to do our 10th live stream now. We're going to play some Starfield and do Ryujin Industries. I think that's how it's pronounced. Which is, I think, maybe the last fa uh, faction we haven't done. So, so far we've done the Freestar Collective, the UC Vanguard, the UC Sysdef slash uh, Crimson Fleet. We've done... The basic side quests on Aquila, New Atlantis, and Neon. And we've also done a bunch of other stuff, right? A bit of exploration. We've got a bunch of side quests still to do, which we can definitely do. Um, but today, I want to focus on doing Ryujin. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to finish it in one stream or not. But we're going to give it a go. So, yeah. Uh, welcome on in. I miss 14, my bro. Uh, there's a YouTube channel dedicated to daily uh, Final Fantasy 14 videos, and uh, Twitch is where I stream whatever I want to. Um, it's unfortunate that we start the stream with somebody who uh, would go out their way to, to complain about that, but there we go. Um, even so, there is plenty of Final Fantasy 14 happening nearly every day. So, uh, Thank you, though, for your support. Uh, right, let's let's get back into Starfield and play the game. But yes, um, I haven't... Like, I've, I had people coming up to me going, Hey, have you quit Final Fantasy XIV? It's like, what? There's literally videos every week. <laughs> there's, there's nothing to live stream. I've done all of the, like, the PvP stuff. I've done everything else. There is physically nothing to live stream until there's more content to do. What would I do? Walk around Kagane? Right, anyway, on to the normal episode of Starfield that we were going to do before that happened. <sighs> Three days of game time in. Let's get back into it. Hey, Giga Blazer. I hope you're well. But yes, Final Fantasy XIV is, uh, like, not going anywhere. Yes, I did upload three videos for 14. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are YouTube videos for Final Fantasy 14 with extra videos on the weekends, as well as Monday is supposed to be my day off, but I've turned that primarily into a stream day as well, and then we try to stream on Twitch uh, four or five days a week. And because Starfield came out and it's a game I've been anticipating and wanting to play for a long time, that's why we decided to stream that. And we're also uploading the VODs of each of these streams, which I've tried to make episodic, where we do something specific in each one of the streams onto my second YouTube channel. So it's not like Final Fantasy XIV is going anywhere, and there's plenty of streams for Final Fantasy XIV that are planned for the future. But if you want me to just stare at a rock, then... Yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? I can walk around town in in Uldar and get bored. Uh, but yes. I could do a Me Only Looks at a Wall like I did for the uh, April Fool's video, but like as a regular video. <laughs> that could be fun. Um, but yeah, there are, are, are nearly daily um, videos. So I think five days a week of videos is, uh, is not exactly going anywhere, is it? I... I I can't believe some people are like, oh, did you quit? It's, it's just mind-blowing to me. It really is. But there we go. That's the 14 community. Right, so. Back to the grind, it's called. Right, so we need to go and pick up coffee. So we became an intern for Ryujin Industries. And as a result of that, our first port of call is to actually become a uh, coffee delivery person. <laughs> so let's do exactly that. It's good that you can have fun with other games. Well, that's the other thing as well, isn't it? Like, I, 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 I really am not a fan of this stigma that you're known only for one thing and you're not allowed to do anything else. It sucks. It really, it, it takes the jam out of the donut, so to speak. Not saying that anyone has specifically said that, but like, it just, it grinds. It does grind. And I forgot we had. Uh, um, stuff on our ship that was contraband. Goodness sake. <sighs> right. I guess we reload this save and go and get rid of our contra contraband. Anyway, 
full focus on what we're doing today rather than other stuff. That was the whole point. Let's get cracking. Let's become the best delivery person in the galaxy. And then hopefully we get to do more than that. Um, hopefully. Right, so we need to go offload our contraband, which I totally forgot that we had. So let's go over to um, Wolf, right? I think it's Wolf. Yeah. And I am fully aware that people have literally made the choice to unsubscribe or, or to not follow and stuff on the Twitch and things, and that's absolutely fine. But, you know, if I'm not allowed to do anything other than 14, then you were never really welcome here to begin with. Let me, let me be perfectly honest. That's my stance on it. Because you're less here for the content creator than you are the actual video game. So, you know, there's, there's an entire category of people. And I'm sure you can find someone that will do 14 every single day without fail. And that's all they do. <laughs> and that's totally fine. But again, that's not me, I'm afraid. If something comes out that I've been anticipating, such as an RPG of this scale... Don't expect me to not play it. And let's put it this way. I either stream the game <laughs> or we don't stream at all and you don't see me for another month. <laughs> Basically, you know. <laughs> on outer hatch. We're docked. Oh dear. You're all, oh, yeah. Level in this place. It's really never let's see if we can get rid of our contraband. How may the trade good to see you? The shipbuilding alone sold you on the game? Yeah, the, the shipbuilding is great. Just every little facet of, of the exploration and discovery is just is scratching an, an itch that obviously other games cannot cannot really scratch, so. Alright, let's get rid of those. Uh, oh yeah, that was that new piece of armor we found. Hmm. Maybe that is worth equipping. Don't like the look of it, but... Mm-hmm. 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 No, yeah, that'll do. At least we're not carrying contraband now. That's the, <laughs> that's the important part. Okay. All right. Let's go back to Volai. I remember seeing uh, YouTube videos the first day that people were like trying to do videos on this game and they kept calling it Vol 2. Very annoying. They thought it was Roman numerals. So they're like, go to the Vol 2 system. It's like, oh no, pain. This is free star space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. And that's it. All right. Let's land on this and become coffee person. We are coffee delivery persons. You just wish you could choose where ladders and doors went. Yeah, I think a lot of the um, the customization stuff will come with modding, hopefully. Just leave it to modders to fix it. <laughs> but yeah, I've really enjoyed the game so far. Um, but we are obviously coming towards the end of the faction stuff and then we'll be doing the main quest and then once the main quest stuff's done then obviously there's not much more of the game to do right other than exploration and stuff thanks for choosing terabrew what can i get you i'm here to pick up an order for imogene salzo oh the reagent order you must be new what happened to tomo did he finally get that promotion? i got fired is what happened and this is the soulless soup they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk, getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? That's me, I'm a nobody on the internet. Uh, they're 100% like correct about this. Uh, 
I'm sorry you got fired. No. Not my problem. All I did was respond to an ad. <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands! Oh, Believe me, it's either you or me! You are seriously attached to this shitty job. Take a breath, pal. No one's terminating anyone. Interesting. What do you mean it's either you or me? You don't just get to learn all the ins and outs of Ryujin operations and then just walk away. Even worse, I got fired. <sighs> they don't let that kind of knowledge run around in the head of disgruntled employees. It's just a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Hmm. I'm feeling like killing someone. I'll make this quick. You're dead. There we go. Ah. Scratching the itch. <laughs> Do what we must, right? Yep, needs must and all that. Right, can I get that coffee? Well, that just made my day more interesting. Look, I don't want any trouble, but I'd get fired if I didn't call security to get this body out of here. So I'd head back to Ryujin ASAP and let Miss Salzo know if I were you. Uh-huh. Report me and I'll make your life a living hell. You don't think I know that? All I witnessed was an act of self-defense. We have a shotgun. Right? Besides, once you let Miss Salzo know, it'll be like it never happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we got a coffee, though, right? Just tread over the dirty body on the floor. Need a pick-me-up? Yes. Ah, uh, neon lights. I love it. Never gets old, does it? Right, let's see what these guys have to say about this then. Okay, operations. Yeah, the main quest kind of just I I got like a power or something, it's like space magic, and then that was it. I was like, okay, doing the side quest now. So I I don't really know what's gonna happen with that at all. <laughs> You can just feel all that corporate bullshit oozing from this place. You certainly can. Ugh. But yeah, um, back, just a brief thing about the, the topic of me streaming and what I choose to stream. I, I stream whatever I like on Twitch. That's the whole reason that Twitch is such a good outlet for me, because on YouTube I can't. Because of people that demand only a certain type of content that have ruined the algorithm for me. So Twitch is like my only outlet, my eye on and you, you can bet your ass that I'm going to be playing whatever I want to. So there you go. That's that's my last point on that. Because I can't do it on YouTube, I have to do it here. All right. I hope that coffee is still hot, considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Uh, I ran into an ex-employee of yours. Good answer. And the one I was hoping for, since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. Oh, nice. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? You two are made for each other. You pretty much murder Tomo and get a big pat on the back. I mean, you can grumble all you like, Samco. I got a promotion. You didn't. You're still a freestyle loser. Uh, let's see. That means I'm getting a raise, right? Of course. We believe in risk versus reward here. Mm -hmm. I'm promoting you to junior operative. Junior? The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business question so far uh, I'm good really well this transition may be easier than I thought now let's get that coffee delivered 
I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Alrighty then. The music's awesome. Who's this? Oh, security person. Who's this? My next assignment. April. Hey, you need something? No. No, I don't. Well, this boardroom place is weird. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out yeah. of yours. <laughs> Where's the door? Oh, it's there. Okay. What a strange place to put a door. Hello. What's your name? Uh, Linden. Hello? Hello? Ah, coffee. No. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terrabrew it is. Uh, maybe we should buy Terrabrew? Terrabrew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terrabrew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Ah. Which, from the sound of it, might be often. Wow. Understood. Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. Alright. This introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Well, I learned from being a pirate for a few hours, um, not to ask too many questions. Hello. Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. Mm hmm That's me. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Hi. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Uh, I only care about results, not the methods. Oh boy, you're going to be a real handful. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. Who cares? So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Shotgun. I'll just answer every situation with a shotgun. Is that appropriate, Genevieve? I hope so. Hello, who are you? Your name is... Uh, Chair. No, that's not your name. Chair, I can't click the man. There we go. Camden, so, hello. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. I was we won't say. work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Eye contact. My eyes are up here, buddy. Uh, I'll let you know if I need some pens. <laughs> Very funny, but not untrue. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Mm hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. You're welcome. I hope it tastes like rat poo. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. Who are you? That's not creepy or anything. The only thing creepy here is your misinterpretation. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses, getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. I'm like a ghost. No one will ever catch me. Good. Then we should get along just fine. <laughs> The kind of ghost that picks up your pad and throws it at your stupid bloody face, your stupid legal team. 
cow. Yeah. Alright. That's everybody. Alright, bye everyone. Boost packing across the corridor. Hello. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I did. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. Impaling or impacting? Or both? Hmm. Hmm. There's a running theme with this game. I have a feeling I won't be getting along with most of them. Welcome to the club. Operations is every bit the essential problem department of this corporation. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp were trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Uh, they must be desperate if they resorted to illegal activity. <sighs> Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Alright, consider it done. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. So tell everybody, got when it. all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. I'm just a ghost. And, and, and no one ever sees me. Mm. <laughs> I'm just a spoopy ghost. Ooh, I have no legs or hands, so it must be true. Clearly. Right well, then, let's go steal. What are we stealing? Are we are we annoying people? Right. Can I jump on this dragon's face? The answer is yes. I can jump on a dragon's face. Well, there we go. Game of the year. Hamza kept pestering me about his damned missing slate. Like security's got time to track something like that down. <laughs> ah, now we've got side quests. I thought I'd done the side quests in the game. Say those for room Wah. That's another side quest I've got to do. Wow. I'm sure it'll be fun. So far, first Sorry impressions of Ryujin. Uh, they're going to need to do more than this to make me interested. Let's do some cyberpunking. Is that a thing? Punking? Kelt Corp. Oh, I've been here when I did my exploration thing and annoyed everybody. Hello. It's what? me. I'm working here. I'm, I'm the ghost of Christmas past. I've come to warn you that if you continue your ways, the world will be out of coffee within 13 years. Ooh. Don't mind me, I'm just going to hack your PC, you know? Don't don't worry about it. Just a little, little knob twizzle here, little knob twizzle there, and before you know it, bam, your company's gone. professional knob twizzler that's me upload program shipping order status hmm. lots of stuff is in transit mining equipment ah. naughty i'm surprised that guy couldn't see me be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks they fly around like they own the set of systems and they like to use old abandoned facilities as outposts you know She's not doing her job. Wall. She is really not doing her job. I just walked through a security checkpoint. You like the new hacking system? Yeah, it's quite good, isn't it? Actually, it reminds me so heavily of the stuff that's come before in Bethesda games, but it has this little extra foible. I like it. Scram, I'm on duty. And the fact you can start banking um well, with a certain skill, you can start banking attempts, right? And then it can auto un undo locks. Speaking of which, we should actually uh, we should actually get the final rank. Um, I know I also need to unlock rank four of that. There we go. That was a good reminder. Thank you. <laughs> get out of my face. You want to go? 
All right, let's go back to Origin. That was a quick and easy turn a quest in. Come back. Touch the dragon. Touch its butt. There we go. Dragon's butt touched. It's the most important part. Hello, I'm back. I was a, I was like a ghost. They didn't see me coming. They kind of saw me coming. They even talked to me. But don't worry about it. They, they thought I was the janitor. I don't know. Or something. What's this? Don't wander into any restricted areas. I just hate accessing the Combatech database. It's anxiety. Hello, Imogen. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I... You don't already know? A fair question. We may have plenty of eyes and ears out there, but I'm still going to need an answer. Um, how about we talk payment? If you think you have any power of negotiating your pay, think again. Besides, payment is based off performance, so let's hear it. How'd that first job go? So my option is, it went well, no incidents to report, okay. Not a single setback. I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. Mm -hmm. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. Mm. I'm sure you understand. Mm. I don't exactly have a reputation for clean work. So, you've gotten caught in the past. Now's the time to make new habits. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. I always enjoy a good setup. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and we'll be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. Hey, Naz. We just need you to visit their office first and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Okay. Laredo's hands are gonna look pretty dirty. Oh, the best part is we don't even have to fabricate this information. We're just exposing what Laredo would rather keep hidden. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Alrighty. Aquila City. Oh yeah, because the Laredo firearms is in, in Aquila. Yo, uh, how's it going, Naz? I hope you're well. A quick... Hop, step, and a jump, and we're there. Bob. Level 34. And we got quite a few levels through the pirate storyline. I'm quite surprised. You never know what you'll find. This place is. <sighs> Why is he sighing? This is his home turf. What's happened to Sam Co? Has, has he been in space too long? Now he's gone a little bit. I don't like this place no more. It's full of people I used to know. You're just somebody that I used to know. You finishing up the pirates? Nice. The UC can't be that bad, can it? Yes. There's not enough to do around here. All right, so I need to just walk back, back, uh, backstage. Oh, I'm just just using the restroom upstairs in your private area. Ha ha ha. I don't think we typically allow customers up here. Why not? Typically, I'm not a customer. Actually. Uh, I choose violence. Boop, boop. And then... Boop. And then boop. Don't mind me, friend. I'm just, just, just gonna walk in here and. It's 
steel. Stealing all the things. Wait, weren't we supposed to plant something, not steal something? Oh man, I screwed that up. Wait. Typically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this one can only fit in one hole. So let's get the right hole. And then I just have to place the confidential files. Yes. You saw nothing. I was never here. You can't prove anything. Well, you, you might be able to. I, uh, oh, there's the bathroom. Ha ha ha. Ah, quick teleport away. Right, that's that one done. You kind of start to like them. Nice. I chose the opposite of that. And I got a cool nickname for it as well. Ooh. Well, this is so far going quite swimmingly. Although usually when I start saying things are going well, uh, <laughs> things become not so well. So let's find out. Hi, Imogen. Yeah, I know it's only been like five There's minutes, but I'm back. Face yourself. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? I don't think I could physically be any quicker. It's done. Uh, cakewalk. They'll never see it coming. Don't get too comfortable. Those who do usually don't last long in this field. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Me too, I chose uh, Sysdef side. It was, it was a lot of fun. I think on my next playthrough, um, I will definitely be going the opposite though, mm, for sure. Uh, I think I've more than proven myself by now. It's a decent start, but we'll see. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security key card. So theft, All right, got When it. I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Oh. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. You know what they say about, never mind. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that key card without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. That's a nice geode. Um, wear a suit. Pfft. Nah, don't think so. Me, in a special suit, not gonna happen, is it? Denarion! I'm gonna be the stealthiest of stealth. Well, not really, but... Ooh, Deep Arla. For some reason, that name makes me want to have pizza. Deep, deep pan pizza? Deep pan pizza. Hmm. Oh, I've been here before. This is the clinic. I've been here. I remember this. From the mountains. The clinic welcomes all patients. Whether free star or UC. They won't be saying that in a moment. Want to start blasting. Lightning. Let's say hello to the clinic people again. Yeah, because we had to find that um person. And we are locked in. The runaway. Hello, how you all doing? Running this facility is a challenge, even when there is It's always a challenge, yeah. Alright. Uh I don't even remember there being an upstairs. Need to make sure those files are backed up. Oh no, I do remember. I think I went up here and, and didn't really do anything last time. Alright, F5. Hi. 
Hmm. You sure you belong here? Uh, in general? Or... No loitering. Now move it. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm out of your sight. Freestar security! Stop running! Hold it right there. You're under arrest. Shit. <laughs> My stealing chance needs to be improved. Alright, we'll try that again. 70% chance. Hmm. Bet. Don't even think about trying anything. Shut up. I like how it works that time. Alright. Jobs are good in. Uh, go back to Reusion Tower. Easy peasy. Blast in through it. Like some kind of spaceship. Your turret's bugged out and wouldn't fire? Oh no. Are you sure they're not auto turrets? Course while we scan your ship. Because so I can't fire my uh, auto turrets. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Could be just bugged though, like you say. Yoink! All the yoinks, Giga Blazer. All the yoinks. How are people today anyway? I hope you're all well. I hope you're all enjoying this Tuesday. Oh, yeah, auto turrets uh, only shoot at stuff if there's stuff to shoot at that's red. But they don't shoot at anything? Huh. I don't know if I can ever live in a place like this. The neon's great to visit. Lenovi, what food did you get? I'm really, really curious. I had um like a sausage wrap for dinner. Like I chopped up cooked sausages with like a chili sauce in like a wrap. Wasn't the healthiest thing in the world, but I was like, just something nice, quick and warm. Hey there. Got that key card for me? And it's raining where you are, Giga Blazer. It's raining here as well. It's rained all day, to be honest with you. It's quite nice though, because it's cooled it down a little bit, which is nice. It's been really humid and, and hot the past few days. Um, like taking candy from a baby, which I would know because I'm the, the baby candy thief. I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. Overall, not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. Okay. Are we going to get a decent mission? I hope this is a real challenge because my skills are languishing. We'll soon find out, won't we? Mm hmm. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high level executives, and second, oh. you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Ooh. Easy to be discreet at the lounge. Everybody's too busy indulging their vices. Okay, all I need are the details. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Doesn't it stand for limited? Why would she say LTD? That's weird. Consider it done. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergies Executive Director Zola Adisa and their financial manager Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I'll memorize every, every Just as long as you line. don't sound like you're reading out of a book. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. This is limited. I'll also be giving you an <laughs> altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. There's no way people pronounce that LTD. No. It's limited. Like what? If a company was Am Amazon LTD, you wouldn't pronounce it that way. You'd be like, Amazon Limited, or just Amazon. 
Doesn't make sense. Is that an American thing? I'm not sure. I don't know. Sounds like meeting is gonna be chaos. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. Ooh. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? What if I'm not really into suits? If you think you can do better, you're welcome to it. I suppose I can even provide you with a small allowance. Just keep in mind, business attire is preferred. Club attire would be second to help blend in. Got it. I'm ready. I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astor Lounge distract you too much. As technicians, we handle prep and post-op work. Oh, did I choose the wrong option and she didn't give me a suit? What about my sis def uniform? <laughs> oh, fitted business suit. Well, that's horrible, isn't it? Maybe we'll go as a captain. No, let's go. Let's go uh, like that. I'm, gonna, I'm keeping the hat on, though. <laughs> I'm going to blend in perfectly. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to read the dossier and memorize every line. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, oh, let's just click on the newly acquired section. Wait, where's the newly acquired section? Oh, balls. Uh, what's it called? Doss dossier? Okay. So, Arthur Cruz. He's a self-made man. Charismatic and friendly. Enjoys talking to people as opposed to, you know, walls. Stickler for facts and details. Mm. Driven by credits and how to increase his accounts. Financial security is everything. Infinity profits are fabricated. Regions profits are 25% higher. Infinity's marketing and legal teams can't compare. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Zola. Uh, her mother is Dahlia Adisa. The retired CFO of Inception Technologies. And her sister, Imani, is a public relations officer for Centauri Mills. She's a narcissist, obsessed with public per, uh, perception, appreciation for professionalism in a manner and appearances, drawn towards innovation. That is key. All right, cool. We get the idea. I think I can wing this one. If not, then I've got a shotgun, so, you know, maybe we will make an SSSN broadcast. Come on, Corporal Mione, with your tight pants on, let's go. Whee! Jetpack, whee! 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 It surely looks weird for these locals to see this, I don't know. Maybe this is normal. Like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere. Yes, they are. Well, the Crimson Fleet are dead, so, you know. Let's open the door, get on the floor, and everybody do the dinosaur. <laughs> Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Hell yeah! This is awesome! Is it? Hello. Someone came dressed to impress. Here on business or just out to escape? Uh, I am... Business, of course. I could tell from the look of that suit, you are dressed to impress. I doubt the people we are meeting will look half as good. Um... You must have business with Ryujin. Ryujin Industries. A good guess since we are here in Neon, but 
No. Infinity LTD. Limited. Oh my god. Uh, let's see if we can persuade this lady. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. They're rude. Uh, Infinity Limited, not LTD, Limited, right, listen, Limited, is the cheap version of Reusion Industries. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I know, right? I believed our team had thoroughly researched Infinity, but your comment gives me pause. They're like, hmm... Their leadership is constantly changing. True. But Lucas Drexler has proven himself capable so far. Okay. We believe with our guidance, he will create the stability Infinity needs. Right. But it's a follower, not a leader when it comes to innovation. And innovation is everything. I admit, I am aware of this trend. We are willing to collaborate in hopes of helping Infinity make the leap beyond Reusion. But there are no guarantees. A surprising conversation. And one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. Well. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. Sloppy. Thank you for the sloppy. I agree. How you doing, Lennon? <laughs> right, now we gotta go annoy the other Come person, on, right? Dance. Go crazy! Go crazy! You have moved today. Ooh. Are you enjoying your current whereabouts? No, oh, I never saw this. Permanently grants the recipe for a chem, Steve. Which slows down time and increases range damage. Steve. All right. We've got a Steve recipe. All these years, and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I hope you <laughs> get to rest now. That sounds like an absolute day and a half, Lennon. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Put your feet up. Get yourself a cup of tea or your beverage of choice. 15k steps. That's pretty cool, actually. Get your steps in, you know. Uh, speaking of business, I'd like to talk to you. I suppose I have time for a little chat. What's on your mind? Financial security. I know why you're here, and trust me, this is a bad deal for you. All right, I'll bite. Tell me what you know. Infinity's profits are pure fabricated bullshit. One simple audit would ruin them. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Mm hmm To compare... Reusion's profits are actually 25.7% higher, quality included. Aren't you the resourceful one? I am. That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look, it was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around. And maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Or the business end of my shotgun. <laughs> you think I'm checking? Bye. Private sector. All right, let's get out of this junkie den. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, we need to switch her presentation. True. I forgot about that small issue. Uh, we need a digi pick. Uh, is there a hole in the wall? Can we make a hole in the wall? What about this lounge special? Hmm. Ah, uh, uh, 
Is there a ventilation shaft? Shaft? Any shafts? I ran out of digipics at the wrong moment. Anybody got a... Anybody got a digipick? No, 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 digipick. No, 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 digipick. No, no, digipick. No, 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 digipicks. No. Okay. Oh, boy. What is it? Oh, boy. Where am I supposed to find a digipick? Do you reckon the guards have keys? This is only really one way to find out. There's no like roof hole. Hmm. Uh, this isn't really the place to get a digi pick, so. Hmm. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough light traffic as it is. Maybe there's another area with them. I mean, it's highly likely that there just might not be one. I guess. Yeah, might have to go to the trade authority thingy. Dang it. It's irritating because I, I had like a bunch of them and then I ran out. <laughs> it's one of the things that I don't agree with in this game. There's only a couple of things and the, the main one is that you can't craft them and that once you use them, they break. Like even if you're successful, they break. It just doesn't feel that rewarding because you end up running out of them and then if the game doesn't provide you with some, which... It doesn't really do that often. You know I went to chef school? We out there a lot, right? In space? The invisible head tats. That's too good. We can take it off your hands. Then here I thought you were... Thank you for the hydrate as well. I'll, I'll get a drink in a second, actually. That's not a bad shout. Um. Oh. Really? How is there no digi picks? Huh. Really? All right. What's off? I'm busy. How do you not have digi picks in the trade authority? Don't make me find the console commander's board in the main. <laughs> Don't make me do that. I'm not going off planet just to get a digipick. It's not going to happen. What about you? Maybe if I move to the Volley Hotel. Do you have any? <laughs> you don't even have a page for them. Always keep plenty of ammo in stock too. Uh huh. Security scan complete. No, console command is at and then you like place uh, player dot place at me or player dot add item and then you need a code but you can do help zero and then or help the name of the item then zero and it will tell you it's the same with all of the Bethesda games the console command is the same in each one of them now, Just James, bear in mind if you do use it, it will disable achievements. But my achievements broke Spider anyway for some reason, so yeah. You like making a purchase? Sure. Have a but we'll see. Emergency food. Ship parts. Mm. How are you not selling digipix? That's just weird. Tell everyone you know. Just want to say again. Watch your back out there. How? Chase more zone heads out of here today. Do you sell different it's so good stuff? To have okay, here you. No. Yeah, there's. I, I don't know where I would even start to look. Stop by again soon. 
think it can work. Ah, uh, man, I don't even know where to start to look. I spent way too much time inside. I think I should pick up some. I'm gonna be at the liquor store. Go for it. There might be some in the apartments. Maybe like on someone's table or something. Mm hmm. Yeah, can't get in there. Hmm. I might have to spawn some in. I'm not going, like, hunting across the galaxy for a digipick. <sighs> we'll try a couple more shops. Because it just slows the playthrough down, and it's frankly annoying. We've done new ills. Uh, Freestyle Rangers? I mean, would they sell them? Not really, but they might have some. Somewhere? I don't know. Urge me. Word of advice. Be careful who's back. Later. Okay, that guy doesn't actually have a vendor option. Uh-huh. Shotguns. Guns. Stuff. A jail cell. Dumbbells. Documentation. Maybe upstairs? Uh, you know for a fact that the point where I give up is the point where I suddenly Don't find some. <laughs> you can guarantee it. It's not at a hotel. I don't think there was any in the hotel that I didn't loot. I went in the rooms, didn't I? I've been applying to different megacorps in the area, but I haven't got any bites. The mining league? They might have some, actually. Because they deal in, like, weird stuff. You know? It's a one. Chloe and I are certainly my friend. Uh-huh. Do you, do you have... D for Digi? No. All right, okay. You sell a lot of resources, soon, though. You're, you're still it's a very useful... A, to see you. a very useful vendor, but... Hmm. I'm surprised, though, because usually the game puts... Digipicks right next to... Wherever you are. Let's, ch let's just quickly nip into Ebside. See if we can legitimately find any... I didn't pilfer from like Madame Savages or something, I don't know. It's the seedy part of town, so. Oh, if it ever loads. Edside's a bad place for tourists these days. Savages. <laughs> Savages. Uh-huh. I'm zoned out of my mind right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's zoned out of her mind. Why are we not surprised? Those are glasses. You know, if anywhere is going to have digipics, it should be here. This dump. I mean, it's even stolen artwork, for goodness sake. Just sitting on a table. You know, like <laughs> maybe you'd like to try a velocity? Uh, uh I'll No. Requires a key, huh? Haven't seen a reach in a while. I think the city holds a map. Hmm. Alright, well, this is the thing that's going to set me back the most, isn't it? Trying to find a bloody digi pick. Unbelievable. Right 
Any unscrupulous types that have some somewhere hidden up the bum or something? I don't know. I don't know where you put digi picks. Let's be honest. Carolina Reaper crisps. That sounds lovely. I love Reaper. I love the sauce. I don't think I've had them in crisp form, though. It sounds lovely. Alright, we're on the roof, apparently. Um, no, this is a good possibility. Toxins. Spice. Alright. Not what I was looking for. That's the woman who opens the doors, isn't it? Who screwed me over. There's the elevator. Um, grab and go? Maybe? I gotta take care of this. Hope you're a paying customer. Yeah. What'll it be? See for yourself. Do you have digipix? Yes or no? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Da, 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 da. We don't have to, like, digi... 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 Digivolve. Digimon. Digital digipix. Digipix are the champions. Change into digital picks to pick the digital doors. Man, I miss Digimon. Every time after school, I used to come home and it was either Pokemon or Digimon, depending on the year. And it was, it was the best. It was the best. Hey, you oh wait, why would I talk to you again? Like some more Get out of my way. Stupid humans. Bloody humans. Bloody humans in my bloody way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Aren't you the one who took down? No, I'm not. I didn't take down any fleets of crimson nature or otherwise. You have me mistaken with another Meone. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we finally found a digi, digi pick. All right, so we need to swap this for that one. Okay. And then we're done, right? Now we need to talk to Imogen. Imodium. Why did it want me to talk to random people? I'm curious. Hello. Feel like getting zoned? I got what you need. Oh, you could have got a key from him. Come back soon. Oh no 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 no! I didn't need a digi pick. <laughs> I should have uh, let's not talk about this moment uh, Seju says I've been conditioned by Skyrim to save every five minutes twice but I've yet to have any sort of issues or crash it is amazingly stable but I have had um, I've had one hard crash to, to desktop in 97 hours and I've also had a few bugged quests that I had to reload for. 
so I've made quite a few saves personally. But, uh, I mean, it's better to make hard saves anyway at major decisions so that you can <laughs> reverse them if they go the wrong way. Or if you want to see the other outcome, right? But I guess there's other playthroughs. But sometimes uh, the game can... It can bug out. It can. But it is it is definitely the least buggy of Bethesda's titles at launch. For sure. 100% agree. Ready to report? I am. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? It wasn't too bad, no. Piece of cake. You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. Mm-hmm. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Where's the bells? Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss. Most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. What? <laughs> Overall, not bad for your first high profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. Ooh. We made it look easy. That's because of the skills. Yeah, like boost packing across an area I was trying to stealth ping Sam Crow. Yeah, yeah. Definitely stealthy. Thank you for. Uh, I'll put the credits to good use. I like to recommend something fun or shiny and new. You never know when life will take a turn, especially in this line of work. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Yay. Let's do it. Good. The less human interaction, the better. Most days, I'm in complete agreement. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. All right. Uh, you're just teaching them a lesson. Exactly. A very valuable lesson that they will hopefully learn from. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. Okay. Let's make this competition pay. Nice to see you don't need any extra motivation. Not really, no. Not all of our operatives are thrilled with the idea of these assignments. And I know you've heard this before, but take care to not get caught. We don't want to give any room for authorities to suspect foul play. So no shotgun, got it, okay. Travel to Hope Tech. Well, Hope Tech might be a bit of an issue since I killed the guy in charge of Hope Tech. Oh yeah, I've got contraband. Ah, thank you, game, for warning me. So we need to drop some contraband off at Wolf359 or whatever it's called. Uh-huh. And then we can, uh, yeah. Yeah, what's his name? Hope I killed in my playthrough. <laughs> he's, he's dead. Like, he's, like, very dead. Like, super dead. Bits of him are dead. There's very little left of him to bury. Let's put it that way. You know, thread the needle. <laughs> Oh, this is going to end badly, isn't it? Okay, just dock. <laughs> oh, we've got a bot that we need to ban. I thought that was a legitimate paragraph to read then. I enjoy interacting with chat. <laughs> I was like, what's this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> My disappointment is palpable. Oh. I really did think this place would. Was see there a bit something more you need? Yes, of course. <laughs> no promotion for me. <laughs> for reals. Um, I don't want to buy stuff. I want to sell the stuff. Okay. Actually, do you do you buy um do do you sell rather a certain you know a certain um. Accoutrement. No, you don't. Well, you're a bit useless, aren't you? Trade authority, useless man. Unbelievable. 
All right, let's go talk to uh, to Mr. Hope, who's totally not dead at all in my playthrough. Who am I going to talk to? Is is first in command? What's his name? Claudia or something? Claudia Schiffer. Ship, you've entered Free Star Collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Nah. Planet Volvo. All right, we're. All right. Hope Town. They're gonna have to rename Hope Town to like Claudia Town or like Bob Town, whoever gets the, the new CEO position. It'd be Bob Tech. <laughs> Steve Tech. Have to change the labels. Despair City. <laughs> uh yeah. Ooh. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. I wonder how they're doing in Hope Tech now that their CEO and founder is dead. And most of their board. Oh! Oh, that's how they're doing! They immediately set. Okay. You want to do it this way? That's fine by me. Come on, bitches. You. you get the credits. We got what you need. Hope Tech never sleeps. I hope you come back. But. Okay. Well. Hmm. I the mean. Goes the spoils. Oh, that free star. Oh. I said that right, right? No. Why is the free star attacking me? I'm like. Hmm. You ever check out the prices I tried that? I guess that was it. No one else wants to. We'd be dust except for the factory. Why did only two of them decide to attack me? Are they like loyalists for Mr. Hope? That's a bit weird. Just those two in particular, they were like, no, get him! But, but why? <laughs> Everyone else is ch pretty chill, like, yeah, you killed our CEO, that's fine. Even the robots are like, hi. It would be advisable to vacate this area. The sleeper agents, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. So yeah, the game has little foibles, which, honestly... I appreciate it more than anything. I'm left with the question of why, but at the same time, it's just too funny. All right, what are we gonna do? Place a place a doodad on a doodad. All right, I'm good at placing doodads. Uh, where's the doodad hole, though? Hmm. That's a good point. Is there a hole? Oh boy, that's not a real... Hmm. Oh. I just gotta ask, um, why? Well, yeah. Where's the... <laughs> Am I... Missing something? Oh, right. There must be a hole to get in here. Somewhere? I mean, there wasn't a ramp down, was there? No. Huh? Confused Scooby noises? Unless there was a hole. Oh, there was a hole. Oh, okay. Fair, fair play. Fair play. 
Yeah, they have the sideways ones. That's right. Hi. <clears throat> I'll do. I mean, that guy is having it rough. First he dies, and then his company is being sabotaged. <laughs> he just can't win, can he? gonna be turning in his grave going oh god why sentimental <laughs> it's a sentimental wafer it'll never let go it has a uh, attachment issues haha <laughs> uh. That's terrible. Hey, Imogen. Uh, again. Hey there. Got an update for me? They're as good as dead. And I killed two random people. I planted it. Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. As for your performance... There is that bit of trouble to account for along the way. What? What trouble? Believe me, I tried to stick up for you, but Lyndon's a real stickler for details. What trouble? Now, on to the next, right? They oh, shot before me I forget, when I the results of the your door. Astral Lounge escapades are in. Mm. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako mm. was pretty happy about the results, so she arranged for a small bonus through Lyndon. It won't buy you a new ship, but it's something. I told you I'll run this place someday. Why did I have a feeling you'd bring that up? You've still got quite a ways to go, so let's keep it real and get back to basics. You can think of this next assignment as a stepping stone on your way to greatness. No one ever In order to that. stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is... Unlikely. Just hack their telephones. That's what we do in real life. Just ask the Daily Mail. I'm ready for the details. Good. Luckily, there aren't many, besides the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. Okay, one prototype engine schematic coming up. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Oh yeah, I've been there. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught, and don't make a mess. Hey, if they shoot me... Oh, I've got two digipics. She knows all about what I need to do then. She's, she's clever. I like Imogen. She's alright. She's the least annoying of the companion characters we've had for these storylines so far. She's like, yeah, I get that. Yeah, here you go. Here's some things. Try not to kill everybody. Just a few Welcome people. Welcome to Star Space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. All right. Do a quick scan for contraband. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. I don't want to land. I'm, I'm at the wrong place. Well, shit fire, boy. That's my best western thing. It's terrible. Thread the needle. Ready? Thread it. Thread it. Oh, it's a solar panel. Doc, quickly. <laughs> I 
do, 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 do. Move. Okay, Barrett. Burn, baby, burn. Ooh, Disco Inferno. Right, oh yeah, we went here and we delivered alcohol to that drunk lady. Ah, I remember. You would catch me dead on one of the let them eat cake ships. Let them eat cake. Well, I just walked downstairs last time. So... I said hello to these guys. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Hey there. Ah, howdy. That's that annoying lady. I remember her. That's the woman I gave the cake to. Yes, yes. It's a singular honor to meet me. I'm sure. Open the door. Open the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Have you heard how much the new model is going to cost? 50p. These things. Uh, they steal money. That's how, how they afford it. Um, mm. She didn't get the memo, clearly. That he's Places are corrupt. Oh, I didn't do the lock correctly. Sugar. Oh no. Sometimes it just makes me sick. Oh no. It's scraping to save for my daughter's college. Oh no 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 no. I didn't save. Did I? Oh. I don't remember say oh I saved but oh I know when I saved. Hmm. Trident has been defining elegance for generations. And I want it to reach new heights. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. everybody was kung fu fighting. Those locks were spinning Stop. like. Stop. 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 Stop now. Right now. But how? How did? How? Just how? <laughs> I'm not using the ventilation shaft. I refuse. You don't need to use it. That lady shouldn't have been walking over here in the first place. I don't know what her deal was, but there we go. Rest assured that every inch of a trot. I'm gonna get detected again, aren't I? Ay, ay, ay. I guess luxury no? ship okay. was reviewed by. It's a little bit temperamental, isn't it? Let's be honest. Alright, F5 here. I don't know how a, a novice pick messed me up last time, but there we go. Uh-huh. Oh, so it has to be there. Okay. There's the schematic. No one cares. All right, nice and simple. Didn't have to use the ventilation shaft. Yay. All right, back to Emotion. Use two picks in total. So we have zero Welcome left, I think. Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Go on then. Scan complete. Mm-hmm. Rent a cop. Right, let's go get this bad boy turned in. Stealth mission, quote unquote, that wasn't really stealth mission. <laughs> I was gonna say we, we've already been down, down there before, so like no I'd be surprised if I needed to. Dual scuds has 
Because the lady was like, hey, I need to get drunk, yo. And then we bought her alcohol and then she never gave us a reward properly, so. I was expecting her to, like, get so drunk that she fell through a table or something last time, but it didn't happen, sadly. That would have been the, the best outcome. Because she was far too snobby. Make it quick. I have a deadline. Hi, Imogen. Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? Yep, here it is. And Trident is none the wiser. And we aim to keep it that way. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process. But first, Ulara wants to see you. Uhara? I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor mm. where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. Executive. Executive. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's ditch this poopy place and go to the executive officers. Ooh, this looks... Trashy, I like it. Marble. Dragons. Expensive. I think that's such a good view of all the little people we usually wants to crush under their corporate heels. Wow, where's the view? Is there a window? I don't My see a single window. Might be on this deal. Oh, I like these stair rails. Those are nice. Hmm. Ooh, and the screen doors that aren't screen doors. Very nice. I've been waiting here for ages. Hello. Can I help you? Name an appointment. Bob Hope. Um. Uh, Sam, I'm supposed to see Ul Ularu Chen. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Egg. Maeve. Egg. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. <laughs> she didn't give a shit. She just like, I'm walking straight in. Willing. That leaves us with only one option. God, Ularu. Is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Keep babe, out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Because you your job. No. We can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine. But you can break this news to Alexis. Hey. Look who's on the executive floor. Moving up, I see. Moving on up. Yeah, that's me. Good. You're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. You're finally awake. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? It's a bit shit, really. Uh, <laughs> um, the job seems right up my alley, it does. In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Nice. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do and pulled off success every time. She's been rubbing Five lamps. Five successful standard assignments and one specialized. Oh, a few incidents here and there, but nothing we can't handle, right? I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Jeannie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. She's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Okay. I know how to get my way. That's exactly the type of operative I want. Someone who doesn't take no for an answer. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. It's limited. On. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. 
So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Mm -hmm. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. Only a grand, really? All right, he's not getting any of my credits. Negotiation it is then, because losing such a valuable asset is certain to have repercussions. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. Of course he does. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? You see, this is why I could never be a spy. Razor Derby is just terrible. I could never say that. All right, that's stupid, but sure. Exactly. Just get what we need. You'll find him above the Lux condos in Sidonia's Plaza. The Mars. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope she doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Do we have to start robbing that lady in don't case she gives us trouble. three wishes or... I don't know. Not that kind of genie or... Hmm. What's in here? Ooh, inaccessible. Nice. Uh, uh. They know how to make a client feel welcome up here. I bet they do. Almost as bad as the trigger code. Gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. Yeah, there's a lot of really bad conversational things. The monkey only blinks twice on a Friday. Ah, yes. And the response would be like, I like cheese. Being in UC territory it makes no, no sense. No sense. Back on Mars, where it all sort of started a bit, kind of, lightly. Sidonia. I did. I helped a lot of people in Sidonia, so... Yeah. Oops. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but... Uh, okay. Oh, I need to find a real bar. You do? Hello. You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day is going? Uh, I'm sure something will open up soon. Miners are always needed in Sidonia. Yeah, yeah. I just wish Sidonia had a bit more to offer while I'm trying to enjoy my unemployment. Not much in the way of entertainment around here. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the <laughs> Universal Championship this year. I heard the Solar Corsairs have the best chance. <laughs> Get lost, kid. Ah. Oh. Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick <laughs> for the Universal Championship this year. I like how you control this guy. The Galactic Raiders suck. They'll never pull it off, dude. Oh, and what do you know? Get out of here. Well, look who's back with another smart-ass remark. Uh, no one cares about that ball, dude. A popular opinion I've heard. Uh, uh, but not one I have time to discuss. <laughs> you got something to say, say it. The championship is fixed. An interesting theory. Just uh, don't go saying that at the Red Mile. All right. 
<laughs> Raiders Schmaders. Like anyone cares. I like your style. But I'm done with the small talk here. <laughs> All right. I've had enough. You've had enough when I tell you you've had enough. <sighs> do we really have to do this? Not a sports fan, huh? Why don't you take a hike? Ah, uh, Razor Derby or Derby as we would call it is the only real sport. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. Either way, there's a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD Limited. and Famous Star Oh my god. Since I believe this information to be valuable and you're the second biggest pain in my ass, <laughs> I'm upping my price. Oh, come on. Of course, if you can't pay up, I'm still willing to be generous and offer a little side job. I want no side Either job. Eugene is stiffing us with their expenses or Laughing Boy over here has an overvalued sense of importance. True. Surely that's negotiable. For this little tidbit? <laughs> Believe me, I know exactly what this is worth. Uh, maybe a discount for our first time doing business. <laughs> Let's not overlook that this could be the only time we do business. Come on, I have to pay for what Ryujin won't cover. When you put it that way. All right, I suppose I can lower the price, but that's my final offer. Unless you may prefer the side job now. Fine. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Yeah, that's all I need. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, not really, but sure. In order to Okay, so listen and read. Got it. Let's do exactly that. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. It's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. Ha! <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally going to put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. Hmm, not for long you won't. And then there was also the file on Stanley. Leaves Lux Condos. Do, 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 do. So we've got his entire organizational Leaves for Lunch at 11. Hmm. Interesting. So. Okay. Let's stake out the area. Oh, I've been in here. I'm actually an employee of this place, so... I should be able to just walk in. To be honest. Demos. They make one hell of a ship. Hello. Excuse me. Can I help you with something? Yes. Uh, Demo's tech support. I need to verify your PC is secure. Oh, in that case, go right ahead. I wouldn't want to be causing any sort of security breach. No. 
Uh, how long is this going to take? Uh, uh, if you have any errands to run now, is a good time. Great. I could use the break. I'll be back in a little bit. You're most welcome, sir. Now bugger off. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's going to work better than the other option, I think. Mm -hmm. And then this one. And then this one. Cool. Anything else? Meetings. Uh-huh. Inbox. You prepared. Uh-huh. All right, we're good. And whatever you're doing, well, looks impressive. Fixed your PC, buddy. I hope that helps. He's going to be like, wait, what? You just literally sat down and then you, you've gone. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye, friend. Enjoy your totally not malware filled PC. Touch the dragon's butt. Nice. To the offices. Okay. I suppose we could just fly up there, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a different floor. Oh. Oh, yeah, because they've got boardrooms. Ooh. Forgot about that. All right, let's talk to the lady again. Don't wander into any restricted area. Well, that took longer than expected. It took like five minutes. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. After what I paid, it better be. Good. Now let's see what Simon thinks is so important. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see. Got the key, deciphering, and done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. This is a sales initiative for Project Dominion. It's not an Infinity LTD design. Limited. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. Arasaka? Lead the way. Ooh, nice safe. Not so nice guns. You've got a terrible choice in weaponry, madam. Mr. Ko, can you stand out the way? God, just lock him in there already. Ooh, we get to go into the inaccessible room. Ooh. Is she the head of the, uh, of Ryujin? I'm guessing. Hey, Em. Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? A Sam Co. This is our latest junior operative. Oh, me. Hi. I sent her on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> we need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Sounds like a mess. Indeed. 
A mess that I expect you to help clean up. And quickly. I can try. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. Trust my palm and with Selva. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. All right, let's get back to that bank vault. No, Co, we're not going to the bank vault. Stop. So, oh right, okay. Uh, talk to Dalton. Don't screw this up. I've fired people for less. This could be the most important meeting. Hopefully. Winter. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. Meonis Eladio. Oh. How you doing? Thank you so much for the nine months. Thank you very much, bud. I hope you're well. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate that. Really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you are well. Good. You're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. Oh, interesting. But yeah, thank you very much for the nine months. I can't believe it's been that long already. Holy moly. Thank you. Uh, let's see. So, we're going to take care of this data violation. Let's try and let's try and fix this guy with English accent. We certainly are. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her, but he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. Okay, I take it Nix is a trustworthy source? We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program. Completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. Wow. All right, I'm looking forward to infiltrating my own place of work. At least one of us is. Sneaky time, In yes. In the meantime, <laughs> I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. I can't guarantee anyone's safety. They better stay out of my way. Not a fan of Ryujin, but I'm even less a fan of needless bloodshed. Oh, I don't know about that. Let me remind you that not only are we talking about innocent people, but these are also your co-workers. It's in your best interest, as well as Ryujin's, to make sure that no one is harmed. In fact, as much as I appreciate the words of your associate here, you may be better off heading in alone. Any precautions to mitigate risk should be taken. True. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. Hmm. Maybe Mr. Ko shouldn't come on this mission. Good work dealing with the Shaw Gang. It's time we went now our separate we ways. Them. We got things to do first. Then we can part ways. <laughs> I can't. I physically can't actually part ways with Sam Ko until I've done the main storyline. Well, 
Looks like he's staying here. <laughs> oh, stealth mode not enabled. All right, so we need to go to the lobby, and then we got a stealthy, stealthy. Oh boy. With Samco because we can't physically swap him out because I never did the side quest to act, well the main quest to uh, far enough to unlock him going back to his old ways. All right, well what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hard save, which is quite important, and let's give it a go. So I need to get the I need to meet Nix to get the the security device, the hacking device. The malware. I know. And then we get sneaking mission. Stealth. Oh my god. Metal Gear. Listen up, Snake. I should have called my character Snake, actually. That would have been entertaining. Ooh. That side's a bad place for tourists. Thought the game had crashed then. But, uh... You thought I played a sound clip for a second. Nope. This place always has just the right atmosphere. Who's this spotty teenager? You got an appointment? Cause if not, consider this area reserved. Oh my goodness. He needs to get laid as soon as possible. Um Dalton Fine sent me, so let's cut the crap and get down to business. Wow, nice to meet you too. Good thing you aren't with marketing. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. Oh, have the credits. A pleasure, as always. Your job is simple. Just run this little beauty on Ilaro Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Okay. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Alaru has is bound to take some real work. More than my little setup here can handle. Good. I wouldn't trust the security here anyway. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Rover. Hey okay, so... A stealth sneaking mission. Oh, all right, we have to go in through the ducts. Kept you waiting, huh? that do? Oh, cool. A, a horribly high jumping puzzle. <laughs> Up. With Samco. Come on, Samco. You can do it. Over here, buddy. You can make the jump. No. Uh, okay. Bye, bye. Oh, he's dead. Well, that solves my issue. He, he's definitely dead. Um <laughs> Wee! Oh, ooh. Maybe I should look where I'm going. <laughs> the way he just plops off the edge. Oh dear. You should have seen it earlier in the playthrough. We were doing a stealth mission with him, and uh, I'm crawling underneath like a floorboard and he boost packs across the entire lobby and attracts every guard what a man what a co what a legend okay operation sneak devourer Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I thought that might be somewhere I could break through, but... Wait. I'm confused. Ah, there's a hole. Aha, ha, 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 ha. I didn't see the hole. What a mighty fine hole. Egg. Full of the egg. So little time. Dun, 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 Meryl? No, no, Meryl. Taj. Quick save. Come on, Samco. We've got this. Oh, God. Where has he gone? Normally, where... Jesus, you did not go the long way. How did you even... This guy's mad. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Oh my god, he walked literally straight past the security guard. Mad stealth skills. Yeah, mad is definitely the first word that I would use. What a thrill. Don't turn around. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, Mr. Co, you can do it. Try try going around the What are you doing? Why are you stopping that? No. No, that's a gun. What Stop are you doing? If you know what's good for you. Miss, Mr. Ko, what are you... You're not authorized to be here. I'm holding uh, you for trespassing. Oh, God, he's so bad. Uh, good job I'm going to save scum the heck out of this. <laughs> he just stands in the middle of the lobby. Gets his gun out. What's he going to do with that? Shoot the policeman? I get it, but... <laughs> All right, screw him. He's not there. There is no, there is no spoon. There is no spoon. There is no spoon. There is no spoon. Derp, derp, derp. My name's Sam Koo. Don't you dare aggro that guard. Don't you bloody dare. All right, F5 before we regret it. Has he got here yet? Oh, where is he? Oh my god. Ah, there's a man there. I could probably cause a distraction. Hmm. So Ryujin owns drones. Shh. I think they own Tayo too. Oh Again, my so god. He's got what? no brain cells, dude. His brain cells are just non-existent. In the middle of an area. So Ryujin owns this place. Oh my god. He's not even here. He's not even here. He's not even here. He's not even here. He's, he's freaking me out. He's freaking me. Mr. Ko. Oh god. Oh god. Stop running if you know what's good for you. Mr. Ko! Peter's sink. What is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with him? Why, why is he this way? Why does he have to be like this? I don't understand. <laughs> it's the hat. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Come on, Sanko. Come on. I need you with me. Oh, goodness. Where is he? 
don't know where he is. <gasps> I don't know where Mr. Co is and I'm terrified. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Okay, one of these doors has got to have, like, a creepy stealth area. That's the toilet. Well, that's, that's the save location. Stop right there, criminal scum. You violated the blah. I can't get rid of him though, Saju. It won't let me part ways with him. It says that I need to do the main quest before he'll leave me. So I'm stuck unless I do the main storyline. So unfortunately, Sam Co has to do everything I do, which means he's here for the journey. Wherever that journey takes us, of course. Okay. That's a safe. I don't know where he is right now, because he certainly isn't near me. Hopefully he got thrown out of the building or something. <gasps> oh, hello. No, don't just sit. You're something else. You're something else, Mr. Co. You really are. I just can't get the staff. I physically can't get the staff. What an absolute potato. Hmm, what a convenient hole. My playthroughs are just hilarious. It's not my fault. Not my fault. This is just how it works. I hope he's not walking underneath. <laughs> Please say he's not. Don't mind me. If he is, then we're screwed. Alright, there's another hatch. Alright, okay. F5. Oh god, where does this drop down? Can't. Okay, coffee machine. That's, that's good. No one heard me fall out of a vent, right? Oh boy, I don't know where he is though. Oh, he's there. Hi. Just wait, he's gonna pick up a sandwich or something. You can guarantee it. I'm, I'm on a stealth mission, bro. D trust me, I got this. Where are we going? Mr. Ko, where are you even? What are you doing? I'm stealing tissues, man. Oh, okay. You never know. Finally something we agree on. Oh, it's a little robot. Alright. No, I, I physically can't get rid of him. So I have no choice. Okay. Oh, back up, 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 back up. You're making things harder for yourself. I know that. There's a patrolling guard. What? Who said there was gonna be patrolling guards? Okay, maybe there's another hole. Maybe I need to put my character into another hole. Hmm. Well, clearly we can't go that way because there's a renter cop so stop running if you know what's good for you oh wow okay so my quick save might have screwed us that's mm. 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 <laughs> I'm physically gonna have to run away okay All right. oh boy so if I'm going to make this, I actually physically have to run away and hide. Stop 
Stop running if you know what's good for you. <laughs> All right, run, Mr. Co. Run, just, just run, hide. Come over here. Where is he? What's he doing? Just nonchalant walks. All right, that's a that's a good F five location. Okay, the rent a cops going back that way now. Oh, you son of a biscuit. You, no, I'm not going to, into questioning. How dare you? Right, we'll go through the cantina. Clearly, we're not supposed to go that way. <laughs> he was like, I could see through walls. Okay, I see how it is. Maybe he's got star powers. Maybe he can see through walls. Star power god in stores now. All right. Okay, this is the plan. Not a great plan, but... Ah! Robot! Oh, bloody robot. I dare you. Okay, that guy's... Is he... Does he... Are you kidding me? It's because Reagent security. No sudden moves. Hey Bam Chicka Bam. It's going good. <laughs> I'll be glad when this is over. Right. So what a game is trying to tell me is just balls to the wall, get in the room as fast as possible, right? In which case, stop running if you know what's good for you. What is wrong with him? He looks like. Stop running if you know what's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> just chase it after him oh god it's pain that jog but can i tell him to just stay hold on dealing with a bank robbery takes me back wait here whatever you say i'll be waiting all right you you just stay right there just just right just right there yeah just Okay. That might have fixed their issue. We can just tell him to stand in the in the lobby. If they walk around a corner, he's dead. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, we got this. <clears throat> We're 11 meters away from the target. So... Whose PC is this? Camden. Oh. Oh, that didn't help at all 
Oh. Unless... I don't have digipicks. Balls. Uh, alright. Don't be stupid! Stop now! Who is she talking to? Because I didn't get a bounty notification. By at all? Huh? Was it Sam Co? What? You're not authorized to be here. I'm holding you for trespassing. <sighs> <laughs> uh, uh. There's no way they should know where I am though, right? Do you reckon it was my footsteps being slightly too loud? I don't know. Kind of screwed this robot up a bit. Poor guy's trying to get out the door. There you go. <laughs> Do they like distractions, the, the bad guys? I don't know. So maybe... I need to find out when she's going that way and he's going that way basically. I don't know when she's going that way. Stop running if you know what's good for you. What? How? 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 Nah. Nah. You're not authorized what to be here. I'm holding what? you for trespassing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, can I talk my way out of it? Oh, okay. Nice I, try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. Yeah, I did. Uh, look, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. I'll be the judge of that. Um. I know you'd like to help me if you could. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh. I understand. I'm not trying to make things difficult. Look, I'd like to help, but... Uh... I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah. I hope so. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm still willing to talk. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't. Dude. In Okay, I see how it is. I don't understand how he saw behind me. All right, okay, we le we need to learn the pattern <sighs> of of. So as soon as he starts walking away, I'm guessing is the trigger point of of me going back. So he needs to come back because I probably got. Uh, seen on the way that this guy was coming back, right? So. I need to see as soon as he moves, I move. Now. Because it could just be the robot, right? Just the robot. Just the robot. Okay. 
Okay. But now I need to somehow sound... I'm using my ear and I'm seeing if I can hear him through the wall. That's a different one, isn't it? Must be now. You're making things harder for yourself. Who are you? You're not authorized to be here. You're a new I'm god. You You're a new god. You're a new god. You're a different god. The other guy was, well, a guy. I what? Huh? <laughs> We don't have any, like, detection through walls abilities, do we? So... How am I supposed to know? Like I'm around the corner at this point. Okay, that was weird then. Like, super weird. Because I was that far around the corner on a much later part of that cycle. I think it's just slightly glitchy. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. I seem to have a worse luck with it. But it is what it is. Right. It's fine. It, well... It'll do. <laughs> no one's died yet. We are going to have to leave Mr. Ko uh, down there, though. I don't think it's a good idea to bring him. I didn't know that he would comply to, like, standing in the middle of the lobby, though, to be honest. So that's pretty, um, well, beneficial. How much further through this do I need to go? Holy moly. This is a very, very big stealth mission. Like... Enormous. Ooh. I don't have any picks though. Oh boy. <clears throat> right, so there's a there's, there's guards everywhere. Huh? What's this guy? What are they talking about in the background? Alright, F5. That's not terrifying. It'd be hilarious if they just looked down and went, Oh, I dropped my pen. Oh, there's a bad guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> or Sam Coe's like, Hey, did someone forget about me? In the Adam Jensen voice. Alright. F5 again. Oh boy, there's a robot over there. I need to get to that ventilation shaft. Uh huh. F5, huh? Don't be stupid! Stop! Now! Oh, so there was a guy that side. Okay. I didn't see that one. Mm -mm. But I was right, we had to jump over the wall. I don't think we could have crept around it. 
Maybe. This is a huge stealth mission. Like, huge. You need to leave this area immediately. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> Don't think we could talk uh, our way out of a, a duel with a robot. Maybe we don't jump over? Hmm. But wouldn't the guy to the right of us see? Clearly the robot's coming. So there's a lady up there. The robot's there. Somewhere. Oh, that guy comes out. Robot gone? Yeah. Now we have five. Stop in the name of the law. Hmm. Close. Stop right there, criminal scum. Okay, so the window is actually after that person goes back inside. All right. Okay. Uh, we will get through this. <laughs> this is torture for me. I'm used to blowing things heads off with shotguns. What? Stop running if you know what's good for you. You didn't see me in the corner of your eye. That's BS. Patience is a virtue. Ah, deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> if she sees me through this wall, there'll be hell to pay. Go on, go in your hole. Go on, bugger off. That's it. Get to buggery. Oh boy. F5. Can she not see me through the window? Hope not. Where's the other one? Oh boy. What? Stop in the name of the law. Okie then. So, we can't stay at the window. I guess we keep moving then. No? Stop running if you know what's good for you! So the window- so, okay. So they both need to turn the other way, so I've got to wait for this lady at the window to go back outside the door. And for this one to go to the other- oh, well, okay. Alright. Ah, oh, boy. But I can't actually see when they're doing any of this. Like, at all. You know what we could do? Okay, she's now at that. Photo mode! It's the only thing I can think of. You didn't see nothing. Don't you dare look around. Don't you do it. No. Oh my god. Sod off! Sod off! Get to soddery! Fine. You're making things harder for yourself. 
How are they expecting me to get up there anyway then? I don't understand. How am I supposed to get up there? I've got to get to that vent. What do you expect from me? You're not me? authorized to be here. I'm oh holding you for trespassing. Hides behind wall. Rent a cop can see through the wall. <sighs> so this actually is no way to hide. You can't physically hide there. So what I'm doing right now is pointless. I'm actually getting quite annoyed at this quest. I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> uh, stealth. Hmm. Okay, let's try to do this properly, right? So, the game wants you to hide here, and then when it's safe, go behind there until it's safe to go back around there, right? Right? You're making things harder for yourself. What the? How? You're not authorized to be here. I'm holding you for trespassing. So I'm not allowed to stand behind a wall. The walls, like everywhere else, that have protected me from vision. So I can't stay there, which means I've got to move to another arbitrary. Like, why don't we have a prone button? I don't understand. But how am I supposed to get there in time, though? Because oh, of that time it worked. Okay. So now I have to hide behind this other physical wall. So I need to F5 there. Then somehow I have to peek without getting seen. If it is not good enough. There's no way she should even see me with a back like that. Right. F5. She's looking that way, right? I have to get up there. Okay, now it works. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I, I suck at stealth. <laughs> Sorry. I am trying. I am genuinely trying to get through this, but it's... It's kicking my ass. The, the game decides what counts as cover and what counts as not cover, and it, it, it changes that rule at a whim. What is this? Have I got to do a jumping puzzle? You're kidding me. But how would they not hear this? They if they see up here, I'm screwed. Don't look at me. Why would no god in the history of humanity would ever look up at this point? Okay. So far not dead so clearly the game wants me to go into that all right that's fine f5 again 
Is there any timing associated with this one? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> it was very tempting to do this entire last hour of gameplay with the shotgun. Not gonna lie. And just pay the consequences later. But I'm trying. maybe that's a weird place to patrol by the way like really weird okie dokie then Oh boy. Let's get this up. Exit. Oh boy. Oh, digipigs. Oh, I could have used those. What does the workspace thing do? Let's have a look. Hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see what the key does, what it unlocks. Mm -hmm. Singular key. Oh. Mm. There's quite a lot of singular keys on this one, actually. Could be somewhat doable. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. The doubles. That would give us a two. It's not the right. It's not right at all. I think we messed up. double. Sorry, all that stealth has screwed me over, I think. <laughs> My mind's like, blah, 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 blah. How does video game work? I know, right? Uh, did a triple. Oh. Really? Oh. Did I save before I went on that? I think so. Just in case. I want to see what's on that computer more than anything. I mean, we came up all this way, I'm not going to give up now, and just because I ran out of digipix, and that I got screwed over with my, my lock. <laughs> I will get through this lock. I'm usually fairly... Oh, boy. That's my, like, last quick save as well, by the way.
Okay, that's where we quick save. All right, let's do that again. Only this time, not suck. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, the triple could go there, but also we'd have a double. Which would be that one. Yeah. And then... Most of these are a triple, but we can do a four. So the four is probably what we want. Um... Mm-hmm. Hmm. And then we could use that triple there. And we're still keeping a singular at that point, which is useful. And a triple would fit. Then we do one of the singulars there. This was a such 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 an easy lock in comparison. But I could literally just do that and use a singular key. There's actually probably three solutions to that one. Announcements, huh? Public time off. Privacy. Security updates. Unknown delivery. Interesting. Alright, well, there we go. Um... So now we have to escape again, right? Oh boy. But there is a hatch in here, so... I think they've made it so you can easily get out. I would hope so anyway, otherwise we're going out guns blazing. You don't belong what? here. I'm taking you down for questioning. Why is there a guard... ...in a security vent? Are you actually kidding me? Nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. What is wrong? Mm. Maybe so. Why is she about to fist me? This isn't getting us anywhere. Don't get bent out of shape. I hear you. Maybe we can work something out. Look, I'll trust you, but if any of us catch you on another floor, we'll shoot first and ask questions later. Can you piss off? <laughs> What's the point in me stealth thing then? Why are you in the corridor? Lady, I ain't got time for this. Oh my goodness. I just want to eat my windows. I don't know what else at this point. I'm lost for words. That was, uh, that was an experience right there. Oh boy. If there wasn't a guard in there, it would just be a regular vent, wouldn't it? Why is there a guard in there? Why would there be a guard in a vent? What's your placement? Oh, well, I look after the uh, Neon's ventilation shaft. I patrol in its interior every day. What? Why? It's a good job that Ryujin don't own, um, you know, or, like, don't belong to, um, like the stormtroopers or something in, in Star Wars. You'd never get away with anything, would you? Oh boy. Let's just write that one off as... A necessary evil. And we will just... Sit back and have a nice cup of tea 
and turn in this wonderful quest. Wonderful it was. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I uh, I'm not sure I appreciated that entirely. But there we go. I'll never leave Neon. For someone in my business, there's no better place. And I have to deal with this asshole. Oh, so you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. Oh, you could say that. Apart from the stationing guards in their vents. You know, just... Is that normal? I'm just that good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. Why did they get this guy? Seriously. Internally screaming right now. Go on then. Pro Hacksaw. Or he even has the Matrix screen. He literally has the Matrix hacking the screen. I gave you to run on Ularo's computer no. basically it's an all access back door for me. I can see everything and anything. So let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Bethesda. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption. Oh, boy. This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. Oh, I'm cringing. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. Do I know Kung Fu now? Show me. Oh, boy. I've got the new encrypted slate. <laughs> Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for you, Jim. What was that? Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. He's like, whoa, I gotta stand over here, actually, friend. Okay, I'll get it to Dalton right away. You do that. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. I swear, 97 hours into the game and I haven't seen a quest like this. So, uh, so well endowed with the usual Bethesda finery. It's, it's interesting. Oh, dear God. What else? Is there any Easter eggs in this guy's hacking apartment? Oh dear. You just, just, oh. They are coming. Does this guy keep floppy disks in his cupboards as well. Don't forget, eight to the fifth, two thousand and thirteen. What happened on the 8th of the 5th, 2013? That's interesting. Did the Matrix come out? That's the good, that is the question right now. It's cool if you want to hang here for a bit. No. Just don't break it. No, I don't want to hang out anywhere near that guy. I don't want to sit on the sofa at all. Or anything like that. Not, a, not even a remote chance I would be seen dead there. All right, let's go and deal with this. Can this guy get out of my way? There we go. Not interested. Move. Head side to bed. I have to say the reward better be worth it. <laughs> that was uh, that was torturous a little bit. It was very tempting to get the gun out and shoot. Keep your nose clean. Isn't Sam Cove somewhere still inside? <laughs> That's the entire time. Oh, uh, can you imagine? I've been here for a while, man. I know, right? Sam who? Stealthy Sam. Who are these this people? This deal could be huge for my company. It could it. 
It could be huge for his company. Oh. I've got my eye on you. Hello. You have the files. I uh, assume you yeah. were successful. I didn't get any incident reports last night, so I applaud your work. Uh. I got the files, but Nix violated the agreement and saw what they contained. I figured as much. Lucky for us, he doesn't have any motive to use this information against us. Now, let's see what we have here. Mm hmm. Is this guy Morpheus? Hmm. I didn't think it was possible. But someone's been accessing Uladu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this oh, off. Oh, she hired me. Hmm, what motive would she have to steal? Well, the motive could be anything. Credits, grudges, even boredom. I get that. I don't believe it. Well, she has the means and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. Okay. I'll keep a close eye. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Okay, we can do that. Seven grand, is that it? These guys are a multi-million credit organization. Multi-million. Unbelievable. What floor did I leave Sam Co on then? Operations? Uh... I warn people oh, that hi. <laughs> All right, let's get back to that back on it. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I've been here all night, bro. Even the cleaning robots try to clean me. I get that. If you happen to see Lyndon on this floor. Give a girl a head. They'll get yes. into work. Energy? Can they just put a coat on his face? Like, is this the new coat rack? Try not to harass my text too much. They have work to do. I'm uh, sure you can huh? tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. Um. I don't blame her. Desk work feels like a waste of time. Well, that desk work is what keeps your cred stick full, and this company two steps ahead. Mm. So why are you looking for Imogene? Is she in trouble? Corporate espionage. Take it up with Dalton. Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. Mm. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. The Syndicate is mad news. They're probably in bed with Benjamin Bayou. Might even be his puppets. Oh, he has puppets anyway, in bed. Cut it. This is going to be tricky. Hmm. All right. I don't need anyone to sign off. Yeah, because bosses love it when you go around them. Have fun with that. Word of advice. If you're planning on forgoing authorization and just tiptoeing your way to Imogene, Park your friend at the door. Two's a crowd if you're trying to lay low. I am not stealthy. Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. No stealth. Shotguns only. Time for some payback. You hired me, and now I fire you. At least we know now he can be told to stay. I know. Good boy. Okay, Mr. Co. They wanted me to leave you behind, but this time, I need you. 
I need your mag shear that's a legendary that we acquired from the pirates quest line. That has infinite ammo when you use it. Let's go kick some ass. Yeehaw! I like how I can just shoot your gun and no one really cares. It's definitely different than uh, Inside's a bad place Skyrim. For tourists these days. I think I got them. What do you call them? All right, Syndicate A. Eh? All right, Frankie, tell me where they are or you get killed. Oh, never mind. Need something? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> where do you think you're going? Employees only. I'm... They're expecting me. Oh, yeah? I don't see your name on my guest list. Well, check again. Now, why don't you tell me what you really want Ooh. before I blow your brains out? Nice gun. Uh... I just need to speak to a fellow operative. I know she's inside. I know for a fact that young lady doesn't want to be disturbed. So why don't you take a hike? What if we took the kids to your brother's place? Would that work? Ah, not a chance. It's also my brother. But... Or I could just flip you off and walk through the door anyway. All right. Why does that work? Of course it does. Stealth? We're not stealthing. Say hello to my little friend. His name is Bob. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's usually how... Oh, hello. Hello. Where's the bathrooms? Is this the way to the bathroom? No? Oh. There's a vent here. That's, that's quaint, isn't it? Is that the other way in? Oh, very nice. Stealth. Stealth. Quote unquote. Oh, that gun is floating. Oh, cute. Hmm. Floating gun. Fire! Fire! Good job, Sam. Take the good stuff. Leave the rest. I always do. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, chicken tikka. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. What's this? Vodka! Mine. I think we'll, uh, we'll down that vodka right now. Yeah! And the chicken tikka masala. Mm. And, and, and all, all the just... Let's have an overdose, it's fine. There we go. Whoa, bro. What's in there? Hmm, nothing of interest, probably. Let's go kill people. Woo! Hi. Hello. <laughs> Long range shotgun for the win. What's that? Garbage. All right. Uh, we'll go and hack that door in a moment. Ooh. Effective range of uh, Combatec weapons. Mm. Mm, let's go hack that master lock. I'll regret it otherwise. Got to be slightly more thorough. I just... Ah, I needed to kill people. It was just something that needed to be done. Oh, I've got a key. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, never, never mind then. Harvested organs? Heck yeah. Do you like me some organs? 
Can I get through the hole? No? Okay. Mmm, organs. Wonder how many keys. Alright, Mr. Co, let's go shoot people. And that tree. Don't like that tree in particular. It smells. Anything of. No? Okay. Screw this! You think you're sneaky, eh? Hey? You're hearing things. No. Girls fine and get over it. At no, at no point did I say I was sneaky. A crippling combat knife? Oh, dude. Might have to try that out. What's this person doing? Is this a gym? Hello. I'm gonna open you up. Go on then. No. Stealth mission. Watch my back. Hey. I'm being stealthy. This is me being stealthy. Security door control. Ah, oh, son of a Who's shooting you? <coughs> oh, a dead person. Cool. Weapons. Hmm. Whoa, that's a nice looking sword. Does more damage the less armor one has. Mm. Love that. Bit of ammo. Lovely jabbly. Smells like sausage. <sighs> I do love the smell of sausage in the morning. Are you inferring that they are pigs and they have been turned into sausages? Who just shot at my face? What? Hold it right there, Ob. Oh, shut up. I'm bored of you already. Am I? I'm listening. I got really annoyed with the stealth mission. I'm sorry, but no. Should reason with her. Oh my God. Bye. I just wanted to see what would would happen. It looks like you can just blow her face off, though. So that's the thing. Don't shake your head at me in the background. <laughs> em she did to you. I had to do a stupid stealth mission. And it's all her fault. Ah! She said. Sam. All right, hello, Imogen. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. Yeah, I, I did. I killed all of your friends. Um, someone sure looks guilty out here. Yeah, and I didn't look guilty before, based on those files you got from Nix. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to, the assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Oh, go on and tell me what you... This sounds like a load of bullshit, yeah. The only load of crap is me being guilty. Think about it. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? True. Just what we need. Ryujin being able to literally control people. They're so goddamn powerful already. All right, that sounds ridiculous, like mind control. That's what makes it dangerous. No one would believe it. So, if Ryujin keeps this tech a secret, suddenly every deal, every legal matter, every little thing is going to go their way. I need evidence. That's exactly what I've been doing here. 
Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind the desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. Evidence or not, you're coming with me. I can't do that. The moment I step in that building, Dalton will lock me up, and Ularu will be on high alert. I mean, if you don't come with me, I have orders to kill you. Of course you do. Look, if you just bring this slate to Dalton, I'm sure he'll understand. But if I go with you, everything is ruined. It's your choice. Do you want the truth? Or do you just want to be employee of the month? Uh, I hope that award comes with a bonus. You're going to regret this. <laughs> you just made the wrong choice. Not really. I, get, I can have my cake. And I can eat my cake. How glorious. Sorry, she's hitting slightly harder because of the very hard difficulty. Lol. Get wrecked. Ryujin could care less about you. They will stab you in the back in a heartbeat if it increased the bottom line. That's you know fine. What? Forget it. Mm-hmm. Grizzly, but part of the job. It is. Ooh. Her suit. Mm. Advanced spacesuit. Mm. Sounds good to me. I killed your waifu? No. Oh well. Imogen, apparently. Because I was told to kill her. So I killed her. Huh? If she didn't cooperate, I was to kill her. She didn't cooperate. So she's... <laughs> she's dead because she was supposed to be dead if she didn't cooperate. And she didn't cooperate. Yes. Good work dealing with the and shotgun. And she refused to cooperate. Let's see if we can find those maps. Hey, if you find a new pistol, yes. I'd be obliged. But she still refused to cooperate. Therefore, she did not comply. Therefore, I laid down the law. Wow, poor Imogene. You mean poor Imogene? She's the potato in this situation. She is. She's a potato. There's nothing you could say about it that'll change my mind. No. 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 That's no. It then. She's dead. Sam Co didn't even like it, but he well, he's definitely not getting uh it's definitely not getting reloaded now that he said that, because he's he, he jeopardized the entire mission. She deserved it. She didn't comply. She did not comply. If you do not comply, this is what... <laughs> Look at all the bullet holes. Look at all the bullet holes. I did not pick the wrong option. You picked the wrong option. Stop that. Fran's backseat in my playthrough. She did not comply. Therefore, <laughs> no, she die. She die. I win. <laughs> Who the hell thought it was a good idea to sell the syndicate firepower like this? Well, no, this is my universe, not your universe. And in my universe, if people do not comply with simple orders, then they die. Okay. In real life, she would be dead right now. She resisted arrest. Therefore, shotgun in the head. Many times. Look, it's bad enough that they wanted me to do another stealth mission. 
Let alone the fact that you want me to keep the woman alive that annoyed me from the start. She die. She's done plenty. Sarah Morgan. Sarah Morgan annoys me more, but... Oh, in this story? No idea. Honestly, they're all kind of normal. You gotta go? Well, take it easy, Gigablazer. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. I hope you have a good time. And I'll see you again probably tomorrow, right? Take it easy, buddy. I appreciate you. All right, let's go get our big, fat, juicy reward from Reusion. It better be more than seven grand, let's put it that way. Come on, Samco. <laughs> let's go and reap the benefits of killing everyone's waifu, apparently. I kind of think she was a bit mid. I don't know why. Well, look who's back. Dalton's gonna lose it when he finds out you went to the syndicate without talking to him. Good. It's efficient. And I'm efficient. I prefer to skip the middleman. Middleman? I would pay to see the look on Dalton's face to hear you say that. And you didn't even have the sense to speak to Bayou. I do not need that man's permission to do anything. <laughs> Apparently not. But that doesn't mean you won't see any consequences. So tell me, what did you find out? Hmm. It's none of your damn business. Fine. Fine. I won't push. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. I'm trespassing? Oh. A quick save and load will fix that? Okay. Thank you for the heads up. Lennon from chat. Hope so. Does it accidentally think you're still in the um the sneaking mission? Interesting. I I think Dalton will be fine. He'll be fine. If you don't comply, you get shotgun. <laughs> Told you my character is UC born and bred. She's a hard ass. That's the whole point <laughs> behind my character. Although, for some reason, I'm not wearing my uniform. There we go. That's better. Alright, let's go deal with these idiots. Thank you for the heads up, though. It, it seems to have fixed it. Thank you. They know how to make a client feel welcome up here. Return to Dalton. Confront Alaru. Ah ha 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 gonna confront her. I'm not even gonna talk to that guy unless I have to. Don't Hello. cause any trouble. Is there something I can help you with? Thank you. That actually did save me quite a headache. Thank you, Lenin. I really appreciate that. I have evidence that says you're a mole. Alright. This sounds like a closed door conversation. Just a moment. Uh, I close the door. No? The doors. I'm gonna close the doors. Shutting the door and engaging locks. Oh. It's one of those conversations, eh? <sighs> there. Now, is this some sort of joke? I thought Dalton was conducting a real investigation. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Let's persuade her. Are you really going to play this game? Just admit you're the mall. Is this a game? I wasn't aware. Mm -hmm. You're only delaying the inevitable. That would only be the case if your accusation held any merit. Mm, quit stalling and confess. I'm not sure you'll get anywhere with that forceful tone. You know, I don't have to tell Dalton anything. I just want to know if you really are the mole. Well, that would be great. If there was anything to tell. Hmm, you know the old saying, the truth will set you three. Sorry. That kind of talk won't get you anywhere in this corporate world. 
Whatever you say stays in this room. I only want to know the mastermind behind all this. Oh, sure. And I just take your word for it. I don't think so. I'm starting to wonder what Imogene ever saw in you. Well, she's dead, so... I've heard enough. Now tell me who your source is, or quit wasting my time. The very person you're trying to frame, Imogen. Are you serious? Genie's too smart to pull off a stunt like that. It sounds like you're only here to waste my time. Tell me the truth and I'll hand over the evidence I have against you. Now that sounds more like a proposition I could get behind. Oh. Fine. Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. But I'm no mole. Mm. So you're a traitor. The only traitor to speak of here is Masako. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist. And no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. Yeah, but Masako wouldn't be a CEO without being able to make the hard decisions. Back then, hard decisions were all about screwing people over and white-collar crime. Today, they're more about ensuring success, by any means necessary. So, now that you know, it's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's? Hmm. What would the bounty hunter do? I'm on whatever side involves the most credits. <laughs> that would be my side. I can see to it that you'll not only get a raise, but a substantial bonus, should all things go my way. And since we're working together, I'll take that so-called evidence off your hands. Okay. Here you go. And soon to be non-existent. Now that I know where your loyalties lie, I suggest you act as if nothing's changed. Roger that. If you're looking for a scapegoat on Project Dominion, you can feed Imogene to the wolves. Totally can. When it's time for the next phase of my plans, I'll let you know. Sounds good. Alright. Well, Imogene's dead, so she's the perfect scapegoat, and if I get extra I credits, my character will be happy, so... I am a bounty hunter, after all. I will take the easiest path to credits. I have no moral compass, really. Not really. So, you're finally back. With no sign of Imogene. She's dead. And here I thought sending you after her would be a simple task. She tried to kill me. Imogen must have been the mole. I'll have Yuko determine her position so we can start tracking her. Nothing she said could be trusted, so I eliminated her. I can't argue with your logic. But guilty or not, there was valuable information we could have obtained from her. Were you at least able to gather any data on how she was able to access Project Dominion? Um... She... <laughs> she mentioned how lacking the security department was. Huh. 
An opinion she never had the confidence to share to my face. <laughs> Obviously, so she could exploit whatever weaknesses she must have seen. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Okay. Good. I'll let you deal with all this mole business. <laughs> Not that I enjoy it, but I wouldn't trust anyone but myself with these reports as it is. I think we did the right thing, Keep right? Way, all of the I'll bad people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> My company's future might be riding on this. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's go uh, talk to Sloppy. Masako. Sloppy! We want to complete the NeuroAmp. I'm just concerned the entire station was wiped out by something. Hello. Good. You're here. Thanks. It's time egg. to put a plan in motion Floppy to egg. take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. Limited. It's about time we're taking action on this. Uh, the mole took priority. Now that Dalton has everything he needs, thanks to you, we're free to proceed. We don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics, so our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, head of research and development. She'll give you the initial details. Okay. Yes, details. You see, the internal neuroamp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification designed to protect the user against other neuroamp users. Okay, they missed out on the most important piece then. You got that right. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal neuroamp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. Limited. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. It's your gray matter. <laughs> oh my god. But I don't know if you want to be on the literal cutting edge of science. Mr. Ko, come away from the door frame. Oh dear. It's about time I got to try out this new tech. Good. I'm glad you see this as an opportunity. And I love a willing subject. Now it's just a matter of getting the key ingredient. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I've finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called rothesite. Which is where I come in. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to gather, refine, and ship the Rothesite straight to us. Their last shipment is late, and neither we nor Consolidated Mining have had any communication with the Karenay Station. Okay. Is this just a communications issue? Correct. The updates have been regular up until now. Last we heard, the shipment was ahead of schedule. We need you to head out there, secure the shipment, and bring it back here so Vina can complete her prototype. Roger, roger. And I want to know what happened. We need to take any safety measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. Okay, that rough site shipment will be in your hands before you know it. That's what I like to hear. The mining station is CM Station RC1. It's on a moon called Karen A3A in the Karen A system. The shipment should be in the research and control tower, but the outside doors are kept locked down. This keycard will let you enter the mines so you can access the tower from the inside. Good luck. Remember to be prepared. Okay. Don't worry, we'll figure it out and get that shipment back. The Karen A. A quick in, out, get the item, come back, equip suit, kill everybody, profit. I like it. Let's do it. Uh, we haven't got a scan on this place, so we might as well get that on. Alright, the mining station. You wonder if they're saying LTD on purpose? Given the law and humanity fleeing Earth in a hurry, 300 years passing, the short form might have changed. Maybe.
Yeah, there's always a communication breakdown. Hmm. It's raining as well. All right, Mr. Coat. Ooh, this place is quite nice, actually. All right, let's go see what we can get. Minus 77 degrees. Is that centigrade? Hello? Blood in my eyes. Well, he didn't yeah, stab more than that. He didn't stab you in the eyes though, so I don't know how you have blood in them. It's only a bit of blood. Calm down. Oh, I guess it's my shotgun that's doing damage over time. I think, unless it's his corrosive stuff. I don't know, actually. That's a good, good question. Hypothermia. Oh boy, great. This is a nice place. Minus seventy-seven Celsius. Freezing inside. I mean, we've been on colder places. Right, I think. Reminds me of when we play Star Citizen sometimes when we live stream that, and uh, it was minus two hundred and fifty-seven degrees centigrade on Microtech in a blizzard. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. That's my definition of cold. All right, let's try a different gun. I'm getting too used to using the shotgun. It's it's kind of OP. Let's use the minigun for a bit. Which is totally not OP. No, not at all. Ooh. What's this? A load of garbage. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do, 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 I need a better micro gun. That didn't nearly do as much damage as I expected it to, but it'll do. Ooh, mine key card. Hmm. Frankenstein, I hate space. It's a bit of a dumb thing to write. How can you hate space? Its mysteries are just boundless. Show yourself. I wasn't aware that I was hiding myself, but okay. Mm, master lock on a sh short pistol. Uh -huh. Can I open this box? No. Hmm. Do, 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 Was that 2,000 credits in ammo? Maybe. Brandon thought, wouldn't carrying capacity vary with relative gravity? That is a good point. Now you mention that, that should... <laughs> That would be like part of, you know, the ultimate survival mods that Skyrim have, uh, like the Frost, whatever it's called. For, is it called Frostbound? I, I forget what it's called. Where it's basically like you have to stay warm and there's like food and water and... Frostfall. There we go. That's the one. Thank you, guys. That's the sort of thing you would expect for that one, Lennon. That would be cool, actually. Are you training for some sort of weightlifting competition? Yes. Dealing with a bank robbery. I'll carry anything you need. Well, within reason. He's got a one-track mind, doesn't he, Sam Co? Dealing with a bank robbery. No, not not really. Not in a while, actually. 
Um, not, not really, buddy. Uh, I don't think I want that Osmium Dagger, do I? Uh, I should really equip that, to be fair. But it looks... I'm stuck on a cutscene. Um, I found a bug. I can't leave the conversation with Sam Go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is going on? Oh dear. Uh... Ah. Uh, well. Stretch one. This is my favorite part. If we succeed, spending some extra time. Do we get to go out of the cutscene? This ain't over. Not by a long shot. <laughs> We're just gonna stare at the floor. Come on, Sam Kerr. Found him. Really yeah. Your blood pumping, huh? Oh god, this camera angle. I want to let it play out in case, because he's capable of killing them. So he's shot a door more than he has them, though. So. Hmm. <laughs> the camera is doing this all on its side. Whoa! <laughs> what? what? This is, is kind of fun. Well, that one got away. What? What do you mean? What? I'm. Uh, Mr. Co, where did you go? Mr. Co. Um. Uh, oh. Oh no, I'm back. I don't know how. I don't know how. But we're back. I'd like to think you're lost looking into my baby blues. What? Waste not, need not. He's a weird one, isn't he, Sam Kerr? Oh boy. So if you do let it play out, there's a good chance your character will come back to your control. Whoosh. <laughs> there's so many weird things happening. Huh? That guy was just kind of T-posing a little bit there. Alright. Ow. As much as I enjoy having a Well, that was an entire clip. I will gladly take the level up after all of that stress. Gladly. You have a nice F5, yeah. All I tried to do was trade gear to him, and it went nuts.
Bring out the old AKS. Never mess with me. Okay, point taken. He's kind of endearing in his own buggy kind of way. You know, as much as I, I've not really enjoyed his time with him as my party member forcibly because I haven't done the storyline, he is kind of growing on me because he's just completely... This is kind of fun. Ridiculous. Well, kind of. He makes no sense. Like, ever. Just never. He never makes any sense. And I kind of like that in a weird way. That thing is massive. That's what I she said. Big. This has got to be big even for a miner, right? Uh, what? I'm not even repeating that. his plan all right well there goes the ammo for that mm -hmm. okay try to shotgun out for a bit a different kind of shotgun I do like the idea of switching up the weapons a little bit now and again, because otherwise it's going to get very, very samey. I've noticed we've stuck to our typical particle shotgun far too many times in this playthrough, which is my fault, but... Thank you for the hydrate. I will have a drink in a moment. Probably on the next cutscene or something. Oh, yeah. I guess we're having a good old fashioned staring. What is he on about? What's, what's what do you mean a staring contest? It's got like a laser sight on a shotgun, which is fine, I guess. But. It's not that powerful. I don't really know why I even have it. Oh, it's a bit of fun. It's like a police weapon or something. I like to think you're lost looking into my baby blues. Can you stop hitting on me for one minute? Like, seriously? All he's, you. I think he's been in my party for too long. He started to, like, get too comfortable. If that makes sense. That's the second time I've died in the game. Oh boy! I didn't see him pick up a mag rifle. He didn't have a mag rifle a minute ago, did he? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright. Well, there we go. That is literally the second time we've died in this game. I don't mind spending some extra time with you. Contact! Can he do something wherever he is? Be 
my friend here gonna teach you manners? I'd like to think you're lost looking into my baby blues. So creepy. Several wives are in my way. Foot shot. Better we get it than someone else. What were their orders? That's a good question. Uh, retrieve Roth's the site shipment being prepped by Ryujin Industries. Okay. And then they want to redirect it to the clinic. Oh. Surprising. That is surprising, actually. A clinic of all places. I guess I would have got that info elsewhere. Okay, is that guy still alive that has the mag shear? Or did I already kill that guy? I guess I already killed him. This is kind of fun. Well, kind of. Not really. Oh. Modified breach. Oh. Could have sworn he had a mag share, but okay. The more you know. Ah, uh, there's my baby. Parked on the ridge. Very nice. Any more ecliptic? Because I was kind of hoping there'd be more to shoot. Oh, there's one. That was my kill, Co. Unbelievable. What a kill stealer. Right, can I actually talk to him and put stuff in his... Well, actually, I don't need to, do I? The ship's right here. Now I think about it. If he ever comes over here. Alright, let's get back to that. I wouldn't say no to a gift. There's no gifts, friend. Let's get down to business. Yeah, I was done too. Alright, there we go. That's his stuff. Then we need to store stuff in the ship's cargo hold, which we have plenty of room. Thankfully, because it's over engineered, as usual. And we also need to deliver the organs and stuff. we can Let's go to the clinic, which we've been to a few times, actually. It's involved in a lot of quest lines. I'm quite surprised. 
a lot of quest lines. So corrupt though. Everybody here seems to be doing under the table like dealings. Nice clean dock, Captain. I don't know why I'm surprised, but corruption. On a privatized hospital. It's encouraging to know that every case we cure here likely This area's off limits. Authorized personnel only. Oh really? I really need to get in there. Yeah, I bet you do. Uh, you can't just have anyone going through. I mean, I get that. I get it. But it must be hard for you to say no all the time. Well, that's... Thank you. You know, this, however, is quite important and lives depend on it. Hard to argue with that. Fine, I'll issue you an access card. Infinity better get it together. Okay, that was that was easy. Thanks, bud. I could have just said I'm a ranger, by the way, but probably wouldn't have had the same effect. John, I don't want to go over this again. I'm tired, all right? Just not today. You can't be okay with this, though, right? You took an oath, and I'd say this is a firm violation. Look, is it a Hippocratic oath? Or? Although, who knows what Faye expects me to do with it? Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. Mm hmm Infinity Limited sent me so I could personally update them on your progress. In that case, you'll want to speak to Dr. Lane. I'm not ruining my career over this. Hi. Excuse me, but this is a restricted area. You need to leave. And you need to shut up. I'm here. Uh, Infinity Limited sent me. <laughs> Checking up on us? I feel like we should be the ones checking up on you. What do you want? I need a verbal update on the project. Of course you do. Because daily reports simply aren't good enough. The third group, like the others, failed to take the internal neuroamp, all resulting in death, with the exception of one, currently comatose. Sean and I are hopeful we'll be able to revive the subject. But until we receive proof of human trial authorization, any fourth group will be refused. Okay. That decision is really up to infinity. Yes. And if they can't handle that answer, I wish them good luck in finding someone else willing to do the work under these circumstances. Now, anything else I can help you with? Well... Did you receive a shipment here recently? Oh yes, refined rothesite. As if I have the proper tools here to create experimental metal alloys. I need that shipment. We're gonna handle that ourselves. Good. I specialize in neurosurgery, not chemistry. It's absurd you'd expect us to handle something like this in a medical lab. True. It's on the table. It's all yours. Anything else? Not at all. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, work to do. Okay. So now that makes that legal. Q. Can I blow up this place now? <laughs> Can I steal everything? Nope. So one of them's in a coma, right? Oof. That is an oof. I'll never get out of this. Oof. Bad things are happening. Unsurprisingly. Jobs are good in. And all it took was a bit of persuasion and lying through our teeth, as usual. You know if you go out there with no helmet on, your head'll totally explode. 
True story. Actually, no, it implodes. But there we go. That's Please if you hold your breath. That's why you're supposed to breathe out. Oh, I've got contraband. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold that thought. We need to sell our contraband. That is quite a lot of contraband as well. That signal jammer thing never seems to work, by the way. I don't know if you have to, like, activate it. You know if you go out there with no helmet on, you're hit. Alright. I have no idea how it works. That's why I don't know. But yeah, I don't know how it works at all. There's probably something in the um, in the help menu about smuggling that I just haven't read yet, so I'll chalk it down to me not reading. To be honest, that's usually what it comes down to. Because <laughs> that help menu is incredibly useful. It likely has step-by-step -step instructions. Detailing the entire process. Because it was really and useful for the... Uh, for the, uh, and the, the boarding and uh, outpost stuff as well. Really useful. Right, I don't think this guy has enough money to... May I be of service? Sell yes, everything. Yes, of course. Oh no, maybe he does. Uh, where is it? Mm hmm. I guess I stored it in the ship. Resources? Or is it miscellaneous? It's probably miscellaneous. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, there's organs. Uh huh. I know there's more than the organs. Sorry about the scrolling here. It's a bit flashy, but, um, well. <laughs> I have a choice. Just double check there's nothing else. Ah. Uh, I might have to come back a couple of times. Right, let's let's rest for for three uh, uh, for for a twenty four hour period, forty eight hour period, whatever. Wait, and then we can sell those other three. So I'm not going to give up on money. I've been hoarding it ever since we needed ship parts. So and that will never stop. I'll always be building on top of my ship, so... Spending like 800k on one ship alone is, um... You know... I'm gonna need more than the 400k or something that I currently have. So the more money, the better. And it would appear that the best money is through quests and this stuff. So it's definitely worth waiting for. So if we wait 48 hours, he should refresh his inventory. And, um, and his money count. Which is currently the only way of doing that, unless we were to install a mod or something to make them have more currency or, or what have you. But hopefully there'll be an update in the future giving How vendors more something money. You need I hope we have what you need. Because the only- oh wow, he didn't update his money. Because currently the only, like, um... Vendors that have any money are ship ones, and you can't really sell items to them, which sucks. Which really sucks, actually. I wish there was, like, a vendor option to them. But, again. There just seems to be a lack of, of, uh... Expensive... Vendors. <laughs> but again, we've we've barely scratched the surface. Maybe there's like some kind of fence or something that unlocks as part of the quest, like the main quest or something. Since we've done like hardly any of the MSQ. 
I'm hoping that we can get the Ryujin questline done today in this one stream. I don't know how long it is, though. I don't know how far through I, I am. So, um... I'm hoping. Because then that would be a nice round stream, wouldn't it? But we'll see. Good to see you. Certainly. Okay, I wish to sell my garbage. Oh, I've got 778. Nice. Uh, so it's on the miscellaneous section. Is there no way of skipping right to the bottom? That's pretty brutal, isn't it? Oof. That is a bit... <laughs> that's a bit brutal. When I've hoarded too many things. To be fair, most of this stuff reset with the ship components. Um, yeah, they're not worth much. Oh, yeah. We have, um, we do have survey data. When you survey planets, you can sell that data. It makes, it creates a survey data notepad when you survey planets. And if you survey a planet completely, it's like worth over 20 grand. Some planets are. So, uh, you're actually pretty better off actually doing the survey stuff. From what I've seen. Alright, let's go hand this in at Ryujin Tower and we'll see what the next part is. It's not a bad quest line, this. It's not my favorite. So far, I still think the UC Vanguard is, is the most interesting. Hold while we scan your ship. But that was mostly because of the Terramorph thing being quite captivating for me. But Yeah, I think that probably is going to go down as my favorite side quest uh, from this game. Well, side faction quest, I should say side quest I have no idea there's hundreds of them and I've, I've certainly not done them all not yet I'd like to do as much as possible though in this playthrough but we'll see I'm sure there are many loose ends that we can touch upon before we get stuck into that main quest and who knows there might be lots of other side quests unlocked through that as well I'm, I'm kind of banking on it as well Got my eye on you. Good. Nice to catch you in the office. Is that my beautiful shipment? It is. You were right about this one, Masako. Here you go. Uh, I always get the job done, actually. So I've heard. Now I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. Mm -hmm. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC1? Um, basically, they hired ecliptic mercenaries to obtain the shipment. <laughs> Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? Mm. No, but I killed them all. Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. Especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? Yes, um, they had a private contract at a clinic for a secure wing. I figured it was related. And were you able to determine the purpose of this secure wing? Yes, they're doing illegal, illegal not illegal, illegal, they're doing illegal human trials, illegal human trials to perfect their internal neuroamp. So... It sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. Typical megacorp bullshit. Focusing on CYA and the bottom line, not even blinking at the people that die along the way. I'll make sound sure like you ghost team extracts suit. every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, 
We have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rotha site secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> if only. I'm sure you remember your actions during Directive Theta, especially in regards to Administrator Bayou. Thanks to your inability to follow what? protocol, we now owe him oh. a debt. One that you get to pay. Screw him. Oh, that man. That goddamn bastard. Once he's got his hooks in you, it takes a miracle to get out of them. I don't owe him anything. You do. So listen up. The administrator wants us to deal with a rival operative. And when I say deal with, it means he wants them dead. This Obviously. is not an assignment I give lightly. Understood. I'll kill him. Good. Find the operative and do what you must. We already have a team prepped to handle any fallout. Ooh. When it's done, report back to Dalton. I have a meeting to prepare for. Fallout 5 confirmed. Go to Gagarin Landon. All right, we've got a quick murder to do. That's because I messed up earlier, I guess, by screwing that guy over. Oh, well, it's fine. He'll deal this with it. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Scan away, buddy. And... Ooh, science outpost. Interesting. Hmm. So science outpost, you can get research data from that you can sell. Instead of you having to scan the surface, you can get a good portion of it from Landing those outposts. Sufficient. Taking the ship down. All right, let's get crackalacking. Wait, have I ever been here? I have never been here. Are you kidding me? Another place I've never been? It's actually a city as well. What? I thought I'd explored like all of the major city places. No, apparently Welcome not. Welcome to Gagarin. Next construction is a dead industry, Prepare. Chief Pretorius. Those jobs aren't coming back. But Reliant Medical, Arkmite, and Satori Mills are dedicated to Gagarin. We were just hoping Gagarin could show the same dedication in return. I'm not closing off the city every time you want to run a tour group through here. Our investor visits are the key to making Gagarin a place that works again. A place where people want to live again. People are living here just fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have security work to get back to. Okay. So, can I talk to this? Yes? What's Arkmite? Arkmite? We're the galaxy's premier heavy equipment firm. Diggers, construction robotics, that sort of thing. Okay. And we're on Gagarin to take advantage of an opportunity. The city's old mech factories have been sitting dormant for years now. But they're open again thanks to us. We've automated the old assembly lines and brought plenty of money to the city in the process. It's a win-win for all involved. I see. Didn't I see you talking with one of the security officers? What was that about? Oh, Chief Pretorius? She thinks Gagarin is just peachy being poor and run down. Has no vision. But Arkmite does. Thanks to our investment, the largest formerly shuttered mech plant in the city has been refurbished and is churning out some of the finest heavy equipment in the settled systems. And we're sharing that vision of a revived Gagarin with others. We've been bringing in investors, showing them all the potential of this place. We were only asking the chief to make sure the areas we'd planned to visit didn't have any malcontents running around. Unfortunately, some of the locals don't appreciate all we've done for the city. Okay. If the locals can't see the benefits of businesses coming to the town, that's their problem, not yours. I won't disagree. But they are an integral part of our plans here. After all, we do need someone staffing the factory. Okay. So you're not from here? 
What gave it away? I was born in New Atlantis. But the business environment is so stuffy there. Centuries-old firms set in their ways. Gagarin is gritty, exciting, an opportunity for growth. And isn't that what business and life are all about? Okay. This has been lovely. Really. Well, it's interesting. I didn't know there was a city here, so... Hello. Oh, tell me you're here to just report a good old-fashioned crime. If I have to deal with one more corporate exec begging for special treatment, I'll eat my badge. Uh, if you're looking for some new crimes to investigate, I'm happy to oblige. Hmm. You know, your stand-up routine leaves something to be desired. Though if you're gunning for a personalized tour of one of Gagarin's holding cells, that can certainly be arranged. But I think we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. I'm Delizzo Pretorius, UC Security Chief. It's our job to deal with any law breaking around Gagarin. And we take that job very seriously. I'm sure you do. Now, was there something I can help you with? Any jobs? Uh, anything I should see? Gagarin's not really that sort of burg. Most of the restaurants went belly up when the mech trade shut down. Only one left is Lizzie's. On the other side of town, though it does have a nice view of the square. There's also a little social club. The local executive set up across from Lizzie's. But it's still pretty light on amenities. Okay. Now, if you're just looking to resupply, then you'll want Clint's. Another case of last business standing. But he's got a good selection. And for medical supplies, you'll want Dr. Keala. You can find both of them on the main concourse. Beyond that, we're just corporate offices and private homes. Be safe. All right. I like how it didn't update any points of interest, but she did tell me about them, so that's something. Okay, so... Contraband cash. Nah, we'll leave it. So how big is this city? That is the question. Hello. Have a nice day. Have a nice day to you, Mr. Robot. I'm sorry, but if this isn't directly related to Reliant Medical Business, you should really schedule an appointment. Okay. Uh, you work for Reliant. What's that like? What's that like? Challenging. I work for Helena Strickland, one of the most driven executives in the industry. I tied him, really. Though she seems to forget it's not just her that's responsible for Reliant's successes around here. Though we've been having some courier troubles recently. I think there could be some credits in if you're interested. Speak to Helena. Oh. What do you do for fun? Who knows? Drink themselves to death? I honestly <laughs> haven't the slightest. Wow. I'm usually too busy trying to make something of this city. Oh, very nice. But I'll be if sure you to, to seize the daytime, okay. you can wander over to Lizzie's. I haven't heard about any waves of blindness striking the city's residents, so the drinks can't be that bad. These people are talking very strange. This person in particular. Reliance, always here when you need us. Very robotic almost. Very strange. With all the factories around here, well, we're not hurting for business. Very strange delivery of lines there. I'll see what I can do. I want to be there. Hmm. Bit strange, but okay. Hello, are you Helena? You're not the usual courier. Please tell me you're his replacement and that you're just here to pay me a long overdue visit on his behalf. Uh, actually, that's why I'm here. I want... What? Actually, that's why I'm here. I want hoping to help find your missing... I want hoping. Am I reading this wrong? Actually, that's why I'm here. I want hoping to help oh i was i was hoping to help find your missing courier as a typo okay i'll let them off i wondered what they were trying to say there i want hoping uh, hmm. are you now yes i'm i Look, want to help i'm expecting a very important package 
very important. What would you say to tracking it down for me? I could do that. Quickly. I pay, and I pay well. You know, you speak credits, then uh, I'll do that. Good. Let's get you on your way, then. Alrighty. Where are we going? Oh, was it literally just a side update? Okay. Oh, follow Helena. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Where are we going, Helena? Helena? Helena. Akachi Rosenblum, United Transport, Garen Branch. Now, please. Akachi, it's Helena, over at Reliant Medical. Your courier never showed. I need his stops for the day. This is my I don't care voice, Akachi. Oh? And what's your firm's policy on losing our branch as a client? Why can't we hear the other side of a conversation so. on Send an it intercom? Send to my personal slate. Thank you, Akachi. Here, all the places our courier might have gotten waylaid. She mentioned a panel or something that you can plug his ID number into at each delivery point. They should tell you if he's been there recently. The ID's 8148. When you do finally track him down, you can tell him you'll be completing delivery. Now go get me my package. Please. Mr. Maximov. Huh? Okay, well that's a side thing that we could definitely do. At some other venture. So, um... Interesting. Oh, she called for him to come upstairs. So, uh, there's, there's one side act, uh, activity unlocked. All right, cool. Oh, this place uh, certainly looks quite large. End of the colony war hit Gagarin hard. The city's just finally getting back on its feet. Wow. Hello. Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Except mech parts. Don't trade those anymore. So don't waste your time asking. A New Zealander. Very nice. Uh, nice to meet you, Clint. I'm just looking around if you don't mind. If you need anything, just follow the sound of falling inventory. You'll find me eventually. What do you have? Plenty on offer. Uh-huh. Like... Guns. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Marathon. Hmm. Hmm. Some advanced space hits as well. Yeah, pretty good. Um, Blair. Do you have... You do. You do have... Hmm. Hmm, expensive, though. Mm-hmm. And do you sell... No, you do not. Okay. It's worth a look. That's good. Nice normal Someone shop. Painted some choice words on the front of the art mic factory the other day. The robots took it down pretty quick, though. Oh, so some graffiti going on. Okay, so what's this place? Hello. I uh, don't think you're supposed to be here. Sure, I am. It's a public place. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but I've got a lot of shipments to process still. So let's cut to the chase. What? Are you here to claim a shipment in storage, or do you have some other shipping concern? Did one of my robots wander off again? Was it something else entirely? Um... Oh, right! I'm here on behalf of Paradiso to pick up air purifier parts for a recall. I'd like to help you, but there's a problem with my computer system. I can't verify your claim number at the moment. The technician said they should be done fixing it by 1100 hours local time. That's clever. I can help fix the computer if you don't mind. Hmm... Normally, I wouldn't allow it, but work is starting to back up. And I wasn't looking forward to staying late to finish processing all the claims. So, what the hell? Take a crack at it. Okay, I will definitely do that. Because that's the side quest that we had started. Um, let's just quickly do that. I don't think it's going to take too long to fix this. Be honest with you. 
You load into the computer system and manage to find a divide by zero error that has brought the entire system down. You manage to locate the source of the error and fix the code. The system starts back up and looks to be fully operational. Well, there we go. Not much time to talk. I fixed Let's it. You are just a wizard with tech. It's, well, impressive. Oh, about that? I guess I can call off the technician. And thanks to you, I won't have to work extra to make up for the time. Mm -hmm. Here's your order. Thanks again for the help. Okay. And then, obviously, we'll we'll untrack that one and come back to that in the future. But I thought we'd do that quickly, considering it was time sensitive for that update, which is fine. Um, we've got workbenches here. Take measure. What's up here? A chest. Not a lot of very interesting things. A lot of that is uh, crafting mats. Who's this? Chronicles of the Mech Riders. It's a good title. You read it, right? Uh, yeah, it's a great title. Oh, and that's just the beginning. Action, adventure, heartbreak, humanity at its absolute most raw. Ever since I left the military, I've been thinking about writing chronicles. Interviewing other mech pilots about what it was like to experience the war strapped in. And what it's been like for us ex-pilots since mechs were banned. I'd read that. Cora would bloody well devour it. She loves her self-history books. I swear, I don't know where she gets it from. Well, in the bold future where the book's done and I don't have to track packages for a living anymore, I'll happily sign your copy. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, why aren't you out there writing your book? Sailing across the settled systems, hunting down all these other pilots, it's not going to be cheap. Is that where I come in? That's why I'm living in scenic Agarin, and not, say, downtown New Atlantis. Every spare credit goes right into the book fund. Of course, I don't exactly mind living in the same town where my mech was built, either. But once I've got enough, I'm gone. Okay, what is it like? When folks lose a limb, some get ghost sensations. Feel like the limb's still there. Well, imagine that across your whole body. When you're strapped in long enough, you and your machine, you grow to understand each other. Yes, yeah, the phantom pain. What the machine can take and keep going, and what the human can. We'd even sleep in our mech so we could deploy faster. And since they were a hell of a lot more comfortable than the cots the UC issued, you spent your life cradled in the arms of a war machine. That's what it's like to pilot a mech, and that's what I want to write about. That's kind of cool. I, that just makes me wish that they were in a game so long. Like, as functional things we could use, but the whole banning of them kind of makes that impossible, I suppose. That's where modders come in and then make them a reality, and then that's going to be one heck of a thing. Unless they add DLC for it, of course. Share the catwalks, all right? I don't want to have to fish anyone else out of the canyon. I'm trying to figure out where that goes. This place is a lot bigger Man, than I expected. I use a vacation? There's quite a lot of people with needs and wants. I'm Dr. Keala. Are you a new patient? If you're a UC citizen, oh, I can look you up, yeah. get your benefits processed once we've done a workup. Um, I could use medical attention. Then by all means, tell me what I can do. I, I don't, don't be a stranger. I don't need medical attention. A hazmat squad came through here the other day. Said they're cleaning out any heat leeches. Public safety concern. Yeah, that's because they're terror morphs. Is this one of the bars? Centauri Mills. Oh no, that's. I wonder is... if there are any mining jobs on Mars these days. Well, naturally, no, there isn't. Well, they don't currently have any. Uh, Centauri Mills sees a lot of potential in Gagarin. You know, I've been so busy. I still haven't gotten outside the city limits. Though it doesn't sound like I'm missing much. No, I don't think you are missing much, actually. Only heat leeches turning into terramorphs. Probably better for your own well-being. You don't see how this stuff gets made. Uh, 
Is that food processing? Okay. That's what I always say about working in like Burger King or McDonald's. If you did, you would never eat any of the stuff there. That's what they say, anyway. I don't, I don't know. I, I quite like Our to partake now and again. Was a real hard ass. Now, if Chief but it might change. That's Zaneda up at the Vanguard office. She's pretty good. Nearly convinced me. Oh, that's bright. Hello. Welcome to the Vanguard recruitment office. Here to join the cause. I... If you've got a ship and the metal to help keep UC systems safe, the Vanguard has got a place for you. I mean, I'm already in the Vanguard. Captain Sam at your service. Ah, pleasure to meet you, Captain. So then to what do I owe the visit? Uh, I'm looking for work. I'd love to get some more people coming in the door. Any interest in helping me distribute some recruiting materials to a couple local concerns? Oh, nice. Sure, happy. You'll be dropping off recruitment kits to three people. Lizzie Aheo at the local watering hole, Chief Pretorius at the security office, and Dr. Keala over at the clinic. I'll pay you for the legwork. Nice. But I'll throw in some extra if you can get them to guarantee they'll actually put the materials up. Mm -hmm. That all sound like it's in your wheelhouse? Consider it done. Good. Once you're done, come back here. I'll have your credits waiting. All right. That's another side quest. Mm-hmm. Looks like Gagarin's gonna have quite a few optional things for me to look at, which is cool. Just mopping up the side quests so that we have them accepted for another time, as you can imagine. Law officers. Hmm. Yeah, there is a rather large amount. Hello. Sorry, I'm not taking... I'm just too busy today. Uh, do you have a lot of clients? Not as many as I should, given the contracts these miners are signing. Most of the time, I'm just here to remind folks they've got rights. A piece of paper can make you do a lot of things, but it can't break the law. Why did you set a law office up here? I've always been passionate about environmental law, so coming here was a natural fit. Vegas, yeah. Imagine having all these wild ideas about how you were going to end corporate malfeasance, and I couldn't even win one case. Mm. But you can only cry about it for so long. I told myself to suck it up and win the next one, and the one after that. It didn't matter how many tries it took, I'd just keep chiseling away at the whole justice system until I made a crack. It's good to have a goal. That's right. And the one thing I've learned is there's no one case that'll solve everything. It's a process. Okay. Back to the grind. No side quests here, then. Or at least none that I'm aware of. Fair enough. What's that? Hmm, circuit breaker. Okay, cool. It's probably a follow-up for one of the other quests there. She seems like an important character. It would be highly likely. So, that leaves whatever's down here. And below it, right? You're not going to tell my mom I'm out here, right? Yes, I will. I guess so. I heard this story about a kid who was walking and he fell through the catwalks and they never found him. All because he didn't study for his citizenship. You from off world? Well, if you like your destination to hot and dusty. Crix's journal entry five. Crew and companions got. permanently do five percent more weapon damage. Oh, damn. There's Crix's journals to find as well. Alright, so that's a mine that we can't seem to get into. Alright. I think we're starting to shape this area up. Just about. There's like a bar 
maybe a couple of other buildings, but let's see what's in here. Hello? Half the city was shut down the other day for a corporate investment tour. Ooh. I had to hike the damn canyon floor just to get to work. Uh huh. They said Ark might come in here. Mm hmm. Interesting. So this place doesn't seem to be without its you have incidents. Any problems, you should talk to Chief Apartment stack one. Oh wow, so you can actually buy an apartment here. That's surprising, actually. <laughs> Quite surprising. Alright, let's continue with our contact. No funny business. Do I know you? Uh you will do. Benjamin Bio sends his regards. Damn it! I knew it! Oh, got me in the head! Um She didn't even pull a gun out. Good and again ain't glamorous, but it sure is profitable. Alright, let's get rid of the body, I guess. Um I'll do, right? Excellent. Good good job. She just like had to check her her iPad while it's being shot at. Now you see if it was me, that would not be my first um priority. Oh, I need to check my, uh, my, uh, my Twitter slash X, um, feed. Oh, I need to check my emails. Um. Meanwhile, it's like bullets entering my brain. Each to their own, I guess. Each to their own. All right, we've done what was asked of us, though. So there's that. And we discovered a new place and a bunch of side quests. So that's cool. I'm actually not that mad at all about that. Let's go talk to the lady in charge, Mizako or whatever, Arasaka. Oh no, it's him. Hello. Ah, back from doing Administrator Bayou's little favor. Yeah, they're dead. Uh, you can tell Bayou it's done. Good. I'll send word to Bayou that amends have been made. Now we can get back to more important matters. I briefed Masako on the mole and went over the evidence you brought from Nix in detail. Hmm. I hope you both agreed that Imogen is the mole. Yes. Masako was disappointed, but agreed the evidence was irrefutable. Yeah, the evidence is really convincing. After some debate, we decided to fully disclose the results in this meeting. So I wanted you to be prepared. Okay, I'm prepared. Good. As long as the board isn't feeling difficult today, this meeting should go smoothly. Now, Let's get this over with, shall we? Alright. Let's have our first proper conference. Hey, oh hey, Samco. I didn't see you there. Do we have something funky for him to wear that isn't garbage? Let's let's give him something cool. Good work dealing with the Shaw gang. I wouldn't say no to an upgrade. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna be in our group, then I think it's only fair that you wear something that doesn't look quite as bad as what you're currently wearing. So maybe we give you, I don't know, uh, a fitted business suit, maybe, and and like this captain hat. Does that does that tickle your fancy? Um. At all. That's better. Yep. Now you look worse, which is, I mean, that's fine. All right. Sitting at the table with the big wigs. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. 
We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Uh... Imogen was trying to use her expertise to set up Alara as the mole. Dalton, how does something like this happen? We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Maybe someone. Hmm. Maybe someone should keep uh, be keeping better tabs on their employees. Yeah. I know you're not insinuating that this is my fault. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. Hmm. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. And I'm gonna like. Vina is completing the internal neuroamp prototype as we speak. Nice. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. Yeah, they were uh, performing illegal human trials at the clinic. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Misako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. Uh, yep. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Just stick it Vina in me flesh. will be waiting for you in the neuroamp division in R&D. <laughs> Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. Roger that. I will report for my procedure. I will become a walking Michael, weapon. Be Give him the dancer outfit. Yeah, it's stored in my ship, but I will definitely do that, I think. Since I can't get rid of him, I should dress him up appropriately at some point. When we next go to the ship, I'll do that. Are you sure you're okay? You left pretty fast. I'm fine. I really thought that for me. They really try hard to not look evil. Hey, I'm a tree. We totally can't be doing evil here. You're not fooling anyone, pal. Yeah. <laughs> we take a lot of pride in our work up here in R&D. All right. I just realized this is actually a different place that I've not been to. Oh, whoops. Don't My corporations don't control right. people enough as it is. Makes me nervous. Wait, worry. I've already checked them four times. Hello. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. That's me. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Yep. I mean, I've had pieces cut out of my brain in previous games. I've had... I've gone into virtual reality situations and had to hack from the inside to shut down evil programming i you name it lady i'm i'm ready i'm ready yes i always love a willing subject now just a few details before we begin obviously we'll be putting you under obviously i'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted nice the whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards provided demarcus got everything entered correctly did I not just say I quadruple checked the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Let's get us over with. I've got a corporation to take down. Fine, fine. I get it. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. Oh boy. You've got a lot more faith in Ryujin than I ever will. Good luck. I'll need it. Well, see you on the other side if... I survive. 
I guess. All right, let's get this party started. Ooh, drugs, yeah. All right, hopefully this doesn't hurt too much. It's gonna hurt, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, look who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. Uh, huh. Well, I still seem to have motor function. I am not permitted to perform medical practices without human oversight. That's good. Hey there. Let's talk about this. So, how are you feeling? You look good? I mean, I feel fine. Everything seems the same. That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Ah. Understood. Great. Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. Okay, let's see what it does. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here. After me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. Alright. I mean, I already have space magic, so... Warning. This unit does not possess advanced <clears throat> capabilities. Mm-hmm. Press LB to open your scanner and target the person you want to manipulate. Press A to bring up your social skills. Oh, interesting. All right. Diplomacy, instigation, intimidation, and manipulation are all social skills that you can activate while your scanner is up. Hover your cursor over a target and press A to bring up your social skills and select what skill... Oh my god, that's really good. Really useful. Moogle go around radio. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you both? Or is it chilly? Or is it Paul? Either way, hello! Welcome on in. Uh, we're playing some Starfield. We're doing a faction quest, side quest, at the moment. Hey, how you doing? Um, and uh, we're about to manipulate this test subject with mind magic. Are you doing some tome grind? Nice! Welcome on in. Um, if people here didn't already know who Chili is or Moogle Go Round Radio, go check them out. They do podcasts regularly each week and also other Final Fantasy XIV content as well as other streams on other games as well. Um, we'll have a shout out for Moogle Go Round in a moment. So, uh, yeah. I hope you had a good night, Chili. Okay, so how can we manipulate this guy? So we can find a way to open the door? What does that mean? Manipulation. Activate. Oh, wow. So what... How do we... How do we get him to... Do stuff? <laughs> Manipulate... Which door are we talking about? That door? Hmm. So... Manipulate. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's how we get it to work. Yeah. You didn't get the Taru. You didn't get to Taru artwork, and you got the fourteen Chris day. Oh no! Is that the one you wanted specifically? Pick up keycard. Pick up keycard. Pick up keycard. Pick 
Okay. I, I need you to... Use the door control with your keycard. I need you to open the door. Oh, there we go. Okay. Neat trick. But the implications? We should burn the whole place to the ground. Says you. Actually, he's not wrong, is he? Let's be honest. Mm. Hello. Oh my god, that was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. That's crazy. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, <laughs> just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! So we can, I can control humans now. can't wait to finish now. writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. It's interesting. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Um... This is my new favorite toy. I'll take that as a no on the side effects, and that toy you love so much is very powerful, so use it wisely. Yeah, toy is hardly the word I'd use to describe it. Can you use it to it kill really people? It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. That would be cool. It's truly remarkable tech. It does open up... Yeah, what... Can I make you kill someone? Those are the kind of edge cases that I let the board work out. Obviously, tech like this is going to come with its fair share of red tape. Well, lots of possibilities, though. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural amp is in total control. No, but... If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. Oh, so that being a said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Hmm. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. Okay. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Hmm. So can I just manipulate anyone to do anything? So I can get her to, like... I don't know. Uh... Get that mixing bowl. <laughs> okay. I I want you to I want to manipulate the engineer to the new neural amp Vena designed is absolutely brilliant. Inspect the security guard. Oh, she won't do that. Okay. What will you do? Hmm? I want to manipulate you better boss than the to open the lock. must be the smartest man in Neon. <laughs> Can I only do it once to the one person? But I can't seem to control them more than once. You, I want you. Does Miss Galra know you're wandering around up here? Oh, what did I click? I want the security guard I'm to steal the first my aid kit. Experiment will be a success. I guess he just inspects it. Hmm. 
I want to get you. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of to yours. To get a notebook. For no reason. This is going to be great for distractions. Actually, now I think about it. Hmm. Our floor is off limits to most people. I wonder if you can put points into this to make it more powerful. Presumably, right? Where would this be? I've already been on there. Oh, at the bottom. Oh. Oh. That is interesting. But to actually put points into that, I need... Wait. I guess I would need to unlock the tier, which is 10 points. All right. We should put a point into persuasion at some point. But... Hmm. Uh, we also need to do weapon engineering as well. Need one more point. Uh. Okay, put one into scanning. All right, that's, well, that's fun. I don't know if you can get them to kill stuff. Damn. So, the that, would, that, torch. that would be really, really cool, but pretty powerful. I presume you can access that anyway if you put enough points in. If you put 10 points into the social tab, then you'd be able to put like the 11th into that, like the first point of manipulation. So it looks like you can gain those powers as like extra you know, externally from that, I'm guessing. Even good, you're here. I don't know. Hey, Moon. I wasn't Moon. sure how accurate Vina's promise of no downtime was going to be. Let's just hope her promise of no brain damage holds true as well. Yeah. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuro amp, it's time to put that tech to work. Oh. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Limited. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Reugen Industries. No, we're going to kill all these guys. I'll make him pay with his life. No, death is too good for our enemies. I don't know. We prefer to teach them hard lessons and give them the rest of their lives to reflect on their mistakes. Behind bars. Ugh, goody all goodies. Right. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. I'm not stealthing. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Oh, we can do option B. Uh, I want to do acting. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Well, I'm going to kill everybody if now. I do. Depending Reveal. on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Okay. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. Mm -hmm. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on also in R&D. Okay. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. Oh yeah. I can handle it. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. Okay. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. 
We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials. But Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. True. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Nero Amp. That's clever. So they never know that they stole from Ryujin. Yeah. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know doesn't hurt them. Very true. Huh. So much for freedom of the press or accountability. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. I don't know. Maybe some goddamn panic is warranted. No, we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. I can't. <laughs> Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Oh, him. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. Alright, I'll take it into consideration. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. Of course it is. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We can get a job done. We're also issuing you an operative sure. suit. Mm. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These Delph suits suit. are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Suit or no suit, they'll never know I was there. And that's what we're hoping for. If you can pull this off, even I'll be impressed. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, Feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. Okay. Hmm. I'll get, make sure he gets the slate. Good. I guarantee the moment he scratches the surface on that story, he'll have a broadcast sent to every system. Most likely. So, any final questions before you go? Nope. I'm ready. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Come with me. I have everything you need for this assignment in my office. Is this where she pulls the... the rug? Hmm. Interesting. I am curious because she wants to take over the company, so this might be the play, right? But well, it should be. Where we bury Reusion once and for all. Hey. As much as I hate to admit it. Masako's plan is fairly straightforward and effective. Okay, I prefer a more aggressive approach. Don't we both? But Masako is right. We don't want to have murder at Infinity LTD overshadowing the news of their greater crimes. The public sympathizes with who they know, and that's the workers at Infinity. They don't identify with the people who died on some distant mining station or volunteered for the wrong clinical trial. I assume you brought me here to discuss your side of a plan. Very astute. It's nice to see you're living up to expectations as an operative. Yes. Lucky for you, my side of the plan doesn't involve any extra legwork on your end. Nice. The program that Masako had me write will be doing all the heavy lifting. While it's downloading the evidence needed, it will also be interspersing an array of files that will say Masako was heavily involved. Oh, nice. You are one serious piece of work. I agree with her, though. It's good.
Mm, there's no way the board would vote to keep her after that. Never. Some sympathizers like Dalton might linger on her side, but it's a majority vote that she can't win. Now here's everything you need. Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access, so that's your ticket in either way. Don't screw this up. Skylar Lumen. Skylar Lumen. Robbery. Takes me back. What does the suit look like? I want to I want to look badass. Ooh, I'll purchase it. Ooh. Wait. Oh, there it is. Uh, the chest piece is a bit bleh. All right. It's not exactly the stealth not suit the I expected, like but sure. All right. Go to New Atlantis. That's what we're going to do then. I'm excited, although another stealth mission has me kind of on edge. I think we might do this the persuasion route and try to blag our way as much as possible. And the least stealth I have to do, the better. New Atlantis is gorgeous, but it's all built on lies. Shut your mouth, Sam. Did the Final Fantasy XIV Chris arrive? I don't think so. Friends You'll not mentioned it. So... I don't have anything to do with those. Chili got his, so... He was saying earlier in chat if you missed it. No Namazu art? Okay, now I'm upset. What art did you get? Was it just like lease? Spread eagle on the front of a packet going, eat my crisps. What was it? Just a 14 logo? Check in with that. Okay, hard save time. Fat Chocobo. Spriggan Generic Island Sanctuary. Oof. Unfortunately, I'm not authorized to make appointments myself. Hello. Did you have an appointment with us today? I did. Uh, my name is Skyla Lumen. I have an appointment with marketing. Ah, yes. From Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. Okay, thank you, uh, Desi. Appreciate that. And this is my um, associate, Idiot Co. Come along, idiot. Mm, rip. Maybe they lost your crisps. Maybe they ate the crisps in the mail. <laughs> Welcome to Infinity LTD's marketing department. Let's you notify me that you are on your way. Mm. If you just have a seat, I can notify Miss Hart that you've arrived. Hello, Ailey's. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, I will. Don't mind my sneaking suit, by the way. It's it's uh it's part of part of it. Mr. Co, can you get out of my area, please? I'll go notify Miss Hart that you are here. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner. What are we doing? I can't see for co. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? I've, I wasn't listening to that guy at all. Sabotage the heating system. I need a hard save. Clearly. What a thrill. Roof access. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Oh boy. Oh yeah, we can manipulate the guards, right. Turn off fan. Oh, you're welcome, Naz. Sorry, I wasn't uh, on for a long earlier. I was doing some work and I needed to do some editing, so. Emergency services. Hello, well. Gotta love a good gas leak, you know. Oh boy. Hmm. There's a guard right there. Oh wow, there is actually gas everywhere. Oh wow. Uh Interesting. I'd send him a message or something for an I'll just wait, you know. Is that They could be doing multiple batches, you know? But anyway. I wouldn't worry too much about crisps. They'll get here when they get here. Alright, so. Oh, Lucas's computer's over there, though. Really? You're going to sit there? Come on. <laughs> All right, fair enough. We'll, we'll we'll take it. Screw it. Shh, stay asleep. Grab everything useful.
Hmm. Oh. Oh well. I guess this isn't gonna go to stealth route. Whatever. It's fine by me. It's too much hassle anyway. How many digipicks do you want me to use? Jeez. Like how the gas mask doesn't actually provide any protection from gas. It's a bit... <laughs> it's crap, isn't it? sense. Uh-huh. Right. What? Huh? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think I just had a brain fart. Right, let's put that in there. All right, let's kill some dudes. Uh, yeah, the gas thing doesn't even work. It's so bizarre to me. Why? It's like, if they're going to put stuff in the game that looks like something, surely they should do it, right? No, it just feels weird. Okay, so the next objective is R&D. Oh, I can't get down there. Okay. Um... Maybe there's a shaft we can fall down. I, I, I really, I was, oh, that's, <laughs> maybe, maybe not that, maybe not that floor, huh? Maybe not that floor. Just see two armed bad people coming out with blood all over them, like, uh, hmm. All right, let's follow the blinky blinky. All right, let's kill this guy. Hi. We gave up on the stealth route a long time ago. Sorry. That probably irritates some people, but... That was never going to be the, the playthrough anyway, let's be completely honest. Man, I need to... Uh meds to, to work. Oh, we are actually bleeding to death. Cool. I don't have a way of stemming that. Okay, we might have to just run past a few of these guys and shoot them when we're not in a gas-filled corridor. Yeah, I think they need to make it so that hazmat suits and stuff actually do stuff in the game. I mean, I don't see why they don't. It's a bit strange to me. I mean, there must be a reason for it, but... No idea how...
to take this a little bit slower, clearly. Ooh. This morning will for you! Give up! It's a glass floor, so. Anything but the gas. Power station controls, huh? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then Badoom. Let's see. Four won't fit. Uh, that one and that one. And then... That one and... Balls. Well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. So what does this do? Activate power station generator. Safety checks failed. Ooh. Killed an officer! <laughs> Drop your weapon! No. Too low because of the gas. There's the prototype. It's mine now. Um, yeah, I think they know we're here. I don't know. Maybe. I could be wrong, you know? I could be wrong. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, what a nice safe you have. ID card. Okay. Let's start with an auto pick on the first one. Grab that. Let's talk about the biggest key that we can fit in the hole first, which would actually be, I think, this one, and then a single key, and then we could put a triple, and then put another singular. I'm pretty sure. We can fit the four in there? No. We can fit that one in. Hmm. Uh, maybe this one is a good idea. Yeah. Easy mode. Some credits. Suppressed advanced maelstrom. That's pretty good, actually. And it's suppressed. Not bad. Hard times will steal that. 
my book now. It sounds so guttural, doesn't it? That alarm sound. Uh, deliver the evidence. What's in here? Oh. Oh, this was the other side of the same room. Chameleon calibrated pirate sniper suit space suit. Okay. Ooh. Laser weapons do 5% more damage. If only that was particle. Alright, where are we going? Significant lack of gas in this area. Enjoy your lucky look. Have a good look. Okay, well, it doesn't look like that's the way. Let's follow the heads up display. Deck. <laughs> Deck. Sound like little Nicky trying to get in an elevator. Deck. Oh, Popeye's chicken. Oh man, I missed that film. That was a good film. Well, was it though? Mm, kinda. It's a classic. Alright, let's go deliver the news to the news guy. Uh, people had accidents. Y yeah. Don't look at their wounds. Hi. Administrations come and go in the big city, but SSNN is here to stay. Sure it is. Can I help you? Um, I've got SSSNNN's major headline. Alright. You've got my attention. Go on then. What's this so-called story about? Uh, I didn't do anything to do with it. The details were all on this slate. All right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. Um. Isn't the truth more important? Well, obviously the truth is what matters most. But oftentimes the source can help substantiate the evidence. We have a reputation to uphold as a news network. I'm sure you can understand that. I'm not at liberty to say, but everything you need is on the slate. I figured as much. Maybe your friend here would care to comment? You know enough about Neon and Megacorps not to dig too deep. That's all I gotta say. I see. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Just a concerned citizen. Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. You certainly do. Yay, now, uh, yes, yes, ever it. everything should be fine, right? Everything should be fine. We totally didn't kill everybody. Much, kind of, right? It's, it's fine. Just a little bit, little bit of death, a little bit. Just, I don't know. I blame the gas. That's what I blame. <laughs> and my lack of effective protective equipment not provided by my employer. So, yeah, Ryujin. We can both play at that game, apparently. All right, let's go uh, give them the deets. The lowdown. If you got a thirst for uh, something, neon candle. Something. <laughs> what you mean a ra 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 ra? He means a ra 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 ra. Hey, Arasaka, or whatever your name is. I believe you were specifically told that we did not <laughs> want a body count on this assignment. <laughs> 
Uh, I got the job done. That's what matters. Wrong. The execution matters just as much. Something you should have learned by now. Nah. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. Maybe once. It was useful. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Not really, no. Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. You didn't give me a gas suit. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself have yet to be confirmed, but it's believed that Masako Imano, CEO of Ryujin Industries, may be involved. <laughs> a series of communications between be. Drexler and Imata were discovered, where she encouraged Drexler to ignore approval guidelines for human trials. <laughs> this has been David Barron for SSN. Oh, she got screwed like the pooch. Impossible. You set me up. I had nothing to do with this. For all I know, it's the truth. You expect me to believe you're simply an unwilling pawn in this? Believe it or not, it's the truth. We'll see about that. Assuming I know exactly how this situation came about, I have only a few things to say. Should Ularu run this company, the reputation of Ryujin Industries will change dramatically. Her unchecked Tactics will be heavy-handed, involving murder without question of Good. both the innocent and the guilty. Less stealth Ryujin missions. Ryujin may gain financial success, but the percentage is not worth the real cost. There are no good choices here, but you gotta see that Alaru is the worst choice. Come on. Alaru is going to be good for Ryujin. The company will always come first. But she's... It's true. Ularu's always put Ryujin first, and I can't argue that. Even with her aggressive tactics, she'll keep Ryujin at the top for decades to come. I encourage you to speak to the board members. We'll be having the meeting shortly to determine the fate of Infinity LTD. And now I imagine myself as CEO. We must receive at least 50% of the vote. I trust you'll be <laughs> able to sway them to make the right decisions. So did we, so the manipulation thing worked on her? That's hilarious. That's actually funny. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Hello. I take it Masako wasn't as pleased to hear the SSNN broadcasts as she thought she'd be? Mm-hmm. She never saw it coming. Of course she didn't. And now she's going to have some serious regrets about holding this upcoming board meeting. Which brings me back to you. Masako wants us to acquire Infinity LTD, which is obviously not on my list of things to do. I need you to persuade the board members otherwise, and make sure they're on our side when I move to vote Masako out. Nice. I'll do as she says, to be honest. Make sure they vote to remove Masako and reject Infinity. Good. I'll be counting on it. The internal neuroamp essentially guarantees success. Hopefully. Already one step ahead of you. 
I figured as much. It's hard to resist the lure of having so much control over others. With Masako out of the way and the internal neuroamp finally ready for production, Ryujin Industries will be set for life. <laughs> or at least until I retire. And Ryujin is apparently the be-all and end-all of the whole set of systems. Well, I mean, better than the Free Star Collective. It guarantees success. Exactly. And all you need to do is use it to get the board on the winning side. All right, let's do it. Let's use the bad boy. Hello. It's good to see you again. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's no side effects. Oh, that's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. You're going to be famous. I'd be the next Ray DeCaris, my childhood hero and mentor. How amazing would that be? Demarcus, eat your heart out. Don't tell him I said that. He knows I love and respect him. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? You should vote against acquiring it. Wow, you're no fun. I guess there's no point in examining their failures. Besides, I don't want any of their research to steer me in a bad direction. True. I know Masako will be pushing for the acquisition. I think it's time Ilaru took over as CEO. Masako has failed. I still can't get over everything that's happening, but you're right. Maybe a change of leadership is needed in order to prevent this from happening again. And I have no doubt that Ulara would keep my department fully funded. Mm -hmm. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. All right. This thing keeps popping up. It's slightly annoying, but we'll allow it. If only there were more hours in the day. <sighs> Great. The bane of my department. If you need something, make it quick. Uh, I heard you're not a fan of acquiring it. You heard correct. I've every reason to believe that Infinity LTD is the Pandora's box of corporations. You're right. The burden of all departments would be too extreme. I mean, I could handle it as well as any other high-profile situation. But the real question is, do I want to? And the answer to that is no. Okay. Uh, the internal neuro amp would make handling any situation a breeze. Are you trying to add to my stress right now? First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. But with the proper legal guidance, the applications for the internal Nira Amp are endless. In an ideal situation, yes. <laughs> and I suppose creating that ideal situation is within my power. <laughs> hmm. Now you've made it sound like a proper challenge that I can't help but accept. <laughs> Masako's lucky to have you at her disposal, even if you are a continual thorn in my side. You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. Ularu is Ryujin's greatest asset. She should be running this company. You aren't the first person to say that. There's definitely something to be said for Ularu. She's ruthless in ways that Masako isn't, and ruthlessness may be just what we need if we're to stay ahead of the competition. Agreed. Especially after this mess with Infinity. Further this agreement. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful. But now, I really do need to get back to my notes. 
Okay. Why is there someone that says no for CEO? Who, who is that? Is it you? This meeting should prove to be very interesting. Especially after that bomb SSNN dropped in their last broadcast. Mm -hmm. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. I was told to use an arrow amp to make sure the board votes to acquire it. That blasted tech. That implant needs to be destroyed, and every shred of research put in a nice little pile so we can burn it all up. Just in case you care about my opinion. No. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk, and look what happened. Project Dominion is essential to future success. It has risk, but nothing you can't handle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. As long as I'm fully aware of the risks, I can properly account for them. My first priority will be to get the board and all security members set up with shielding as soon as possible. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. Then vote against Infinity. I hate to agree, but you're right. And I'm sure Masaka will understand my reasoning. Okay. I know you believe in Masako, but after all this, I think Alara is better fit. You would side against her after everything we've been through? Yeah. I... I... I can't shake this feeling that I too have doubts. Mm -hmm. Perhaps if you present your argument, I might better be able to understand my own thoughts on the matter. Okay. We both need, know that Masako needs to step down. I'm not sure why it wasn't clear before. <laughs> but I can see where you're coming from now. I love this manipulation <sighs> thing. I owe Masako a great debt for my success in life. It pains me to admit you're right. Thank you for the following. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to make sure that I'm prepared for this meeting. Excellent. Very interesting. It feels like Jedi mind powers, and I'm, I'm all for it, actually. I quite like it now. Especially if I think of it like that. It's brilliant. Okay, let's get this person on our side as well. Don't tell me. Masako wants to make sure I'm still on her side after SSNN dropped this media bomb on us. Uh, depends on whose side you're on. Well, I was on Masako's. Until this news dropped. Lally ho indeed. Now that she's been tied to Lucas, buying up Infinity LTD only reinforces the narrative. It's going to be a hard sell to make this look good. I hope you're well, Sayo. Thank you very much. Uh... Forget Infinity. We don't need them. Exactly. We don't even know what could be hidden in their financial and legal records. At this point, the less unknowns, the better. Hmm. You know, if they really want to keep Ryujin in the public's good graces, there are two things to consider. All right. I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it. You've been a space potato, a popoto? Nice. Awesome. Alaru needs to be running this company. Eh, now that's a delicate subject. But our competition really is upping their game. If we want to survive the coming onslaught, you're right. Ularu would be the logical choice. And what's your second point to consider? My second point 
is that we should be using the Neuroamp at every opportunity we can. You're preaching to the choir. I have every intention of using it to our full advantage. In fact, I already have an entire marketing campaign in the works and ready to pitch once it's officially approved. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. Hmm, nice. All right, so we've got to turn one more person to our hey, advantage, man. I think. <laughs> Let's do a quick save because I don't know if we can pull this off in one shot. You're looking interesting today. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Oh, I am. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? No. It, taking them on is a liability we do not need. Your statement confirms my suspicions. As much as Genevieve believes the public perception would boost overall sales, there's no way to know the repercussions of their financials. Next question. What are your thoughts on SSNN's reports that Masako is allegedly connected to Lucas Drexler? Masako must have been desperate to have stooped so low. Yes. Desperation often leads to poor life choices. I find it difficult to believe that our CEO was truthfully involved in such endeavors. I look forward to seeing what Alexis can learn about the subject. Get what you know, if someone like Ilaru was the CEO, this never would have happened. Yes, Ilaru would be a very capable CEO. Her loyalty to Ryujin is unmatched. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. What are your thoughts on the internal Neuroamp? It's the next big step for Ryujin Industries. Financially, it'll keep us secure for years to come. There's no doubt it's our future. Nothing I can think of see you at a meeting. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. So who have I screwed over? What have I screwed up here? I'm curious. I think I might have screwed something up. Hmm. I think I, one person didn't get persuaded or something? I don't know. Hmm. That'll be a, my problem if I've done that. Everything has to be unanimous, right? Can't it just be a majority vote? To start this meeting, let me just say that the SSNN allegations are completely false. And you expect us to just believe that? If they're false, how did this happen? I'll be ordering a full investigation, but I have my suspicions, which I'll address once this meeting has concluded. Until then, I'm still CEO, and we'll be moving forward with this meeting to acquire Infinity LTD. Do you really think we want a potential criminal? One suspected of being the actual mole here, leading a crucial meeting like this? In fact, I propose we remove Masako as CEO altogether, and nominate myself to take her place. Ilaru is the clear choice as CEO. You can't be serious. As much as it pains me to say it, I second the motion. My apologies, Masako, but we failed here. Perhaps new leadership is what's needed moving forward. Dalton, you can't seriously believe that. Agreed. I initially believed we could pull through this, but... I think a fresh perspective is necessary to make sure this doesn't happen again. Any arguments against? 
Yes, on the fact that I'm innocent and completely capable of doing my job. Let's leave it up to the vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I had a feeling this would go my way. Traitors. All of you. <laughs> well, there you have it. And now, since you're no longer a part of this board, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. This isn't over. Oh, it is. I think it is for you. To think I had high hopes for you. Now, now, Masako. Don't go taking out your shortcomings on our operative here. Enough with your attitude, Ularu. I don't care what anyone says or what the evidence is. I know you're behind this. And I'll prove it, no matter how long it takes. Good thing you're going to have plenty of time on your hands, then. Security. Why don't you escort Masako to her office? I'm sure law enforcement will be looking for her soon anyway. Now, let's get back to business. Agreed. I'm sure you all know my feelings on acquiring Infinity LTD, but this is a vote. So, any arguments for the acquisition? No arguments for? This bodes well. Arguments against? Besides my own, of course. Let them rot. There's pretty much no technological benefit here. We've always been ahead of Infinity LTD. And not to mention how bad it would look if the public believes Masako was involved. All right. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD and being judged by yours truly? Excellent. Not bad for my first meeting. Unanimous. Does anyone have anything else to bring to the table before we break? I almost hate to ask now, but are there any other matters to bring forth? No? Good. Meeting adjourned. Nice. Well, we aced that, I think. At least if you're here, you're not screwing up out there. <laughs> Hello, Alara. New CEO. You are well done. Very well done. No Infinity LTD mess to clean up, and no more Masako as CEO. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. For me especially. I was only doing my job. Yes, but this wasn't just any job. It's not every day you undertake an effort to overthrow the head of a corporation. It takes guts for someone in your position to go up against the CEO. And Masako never saw it coming. Maybe we'll take out some more CEOs. You know, as an encore. Whatever it takes to keep Ryujin on top. That attitude must be why we work so well together. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I'm sure you'll find it adequate for all you've done. I'm also promoting you to senior operative. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. Thank you. It's well deserved, considering how useful you've been. As a senior op, you now have a personal office, mm -hmm. mission board access, and you're free to work on your own time. Oh, very nice. The mission board will hold any available assignments, although I may still notify you should I require your more specific talents. Oh, and you'll be happy to know, no more docs in pay. I only care about the end result, not the methods. Thank goodness. Any questions? Where's my new office? On the operations floor, of course. Do I get all my assignments from a machine now? The majority of them, at least. It, trust me, it's better this way. I think I've got all the information I need, then. In that case, I suggest you get familiar with the mission board before you leave today. I'll admit, you helped me pull off a pretty big win. So, if you want to take some time off, I get it. Just don't forget, you still have a job that I expect you to do. Eight grand? Nice. Nice, not a lot, but... Oh, and another 8,400. <laughs> uh, we managed to screw it up. 
CEO woman over. <laughs> Is she still here? Can we go and gloat at her? Is that like actually a thing? <laughs> if you're here to gloat, oh. save it. <laughs> uh, Elara was CEO guarantees Ryujin success for years to come. Profits aren't everything. They are. Ryujin Industries may have a sordid history, but under my guidance as CEO, we've maintained both success and reputation. Mm -hmm. The two aren't mutually exclusive. I proved it can be done. But now, with these false accusations, I may never have the opportunity to run a business again. I hope you spend the rest of your life behind bars. Call it early retirement. I'd hardly call spending the next few years in a jail cell retirement. But what's done is done. Maybe you will run this place one day after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to process. <laughs> she got owned. Don't cause any trouble. Uh, <laughs> well, that was fun, actually. That was really enjoyable to see her... Uh, yeah, destroyed, basically. We've got our own office now. Oh, dude. I want to check out my office, see how comfy it looks. This could be the most Operations deck. Ah. I want to see my office. Please say it's not the... Okay, it's not the person that's dead's office. That's good. Oh, look at that. I've got my own cushy office with my own horrible Equinox rifle that no one likes. Excellent. My own safe full of credits that I'm going to embezzle from the company. Some digi picks. Very nice. Very nice. All in all, uh, it wasn't a terribly bad storyline. I think, honestly... It was potentially better than, well, obviously very much so, better than the Freestar Collective. Where does it rack up in terms of my opinion of, of, of how I would evaluate that in, in, in comparison to things like, do you see Vanguard? Do you see Vanguard was the superior of all of the factions that I've done? And I would say that Rogin was sort of like mid-tier. It was mid-tier. The thing that made it more slightly than mid-tier for me was the idea that you had so much choice and the manipulation device put it just a bit above that mid-tier. So, in my opinion, so far, I would probably put Ryujin just below the UC Vanguard and then just below Ryujin, I would put the pirate storyline that we decided with UC Sysdef because it was great, but it, it was really bits and pieces that let that down. Ryujin was let down by the stealth segments, huge, in my opinion. So they're probably either on par or just below. Like the pirate story was just below that, in my opinion. And then right at the bottom of everything was the Aquila storyline with the Freestar Collective. I could not stand that storyline. I thought it was kind of boring in places, not as well written as the rest of the content in the game. And I think that the rewards kind of were okay. Like, we got a ship out of it and stuff, but it was just not great. It was a bit meh, honestly. And yeah, it was it was it was low mid tier. Um, but certainly by any other standards of any other game storyline, it was fantastic. Now, I think we are done with the main faction quest in the game. I think we are. Now, the only way we're gonna know that is by having a quick look around at these. So the next stream that we do, we'll be tying up loose ends for the most part. And then once we've done the majority of this, delivering posters and delivering aid to certain parts of the, the universe. And obviously we're not gonna do all of the like cargo delivery stuff, just the basic quest stuff, right? Um, then, I, then we'll have to do the main storyline and then we get to see what that's like, which I have no preconceptions or opinions of because we've only just gone to Aquila City with the main quest, and that's like mission three, maybe mission four in the MSQ. 
So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Hopefully you did too. If you did, then uh, thank you so much. Uh, the VODs of this will be available on a second YouTube channel, as usual. Those are taking a while to upload. I'm having a few errors with the length of the videos because uh, YouTube says you to have unlimited length of videos, you need to be uh, verified. And I'm like, my second channel is verified. So give me a, a little bit of time to get that sorted up. But those videos should be getting uh, posted up within the next week or so. Uh, in total and uh, but yeah next time loose ends of the side stuff that we found so far a bit of exploration here and there kind of maybe not whatever we get up to finish what's in our log do the msq and then we'll see how that goes but thank you so much for watching that will be it for today's stream if you're watching live if you're watching in vod form see you in the next episode right let's find someone to uh, end on and uh, to to raid right Thank you so much once again, though, to all of the raids and all of the viewership tonight. I know it's not Final Fantasy XIV. I know some people are only here for that kind of stuff, and that's fine. But there'll be more fourteen in the future in live stream format. And on my main YouTube channel, we have near daily, at least every single week of the year, um, five days a week of Final Fantasy XIV content. So uh, it's not like any of that's missing. Uh, in terms of raids, I guess we say hello to Wobzy, who is playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. If you don't know anything about that game, it is another RPG, uh, top-down sort of story-based game uh, that broke for me when I tried to play it through. So much love. Enjoy the rest of your day, time zone, or whatever. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.